Hello and welcome to the Free Cheese episode 222. I'm your Joe Dix, joined tonight by Matt Sellner. I'll be gone to November, I'll be gone to November. Mark Augustiniak. Oh, hey. Ben Barris. Bud Light. The Free Cheese is the weekly video game podcast about <laughs> video games. Brought to you once a week by thefreecheese.com. What's up? It's November. We made it. We yeah. made it. This day, fe- it already feels like it's 1030 at night. Yeah, I don't know what it's, the hell's happening. It's too, it's, it's, I mean, I know what's happening. It's, I know oh, what's happening. I don't know. It's November, so it always... You like can sell the weed again. It's fine. It's yeah. true. You're good. True. The AM, feds are off yeah. your back. It's true. Speaking of selling weed, you know you can apparently just buy weed from trucks in New York? Yeah, distillers. Yeah, you need to explain this, because when I was in New York, I, I smelled it everywhere. I, I mean, yeah, well, I mean yeah. what can't you buy from it. trucks in New York? Let's be real here. Isn't that just the normal smell? <laughs> yeah, there, you're though? not wrong. It is true. It just smells like weed and, like, homeless piss. It's, yeah. Yeah. It smells different than normal piss. We've all acknowledged Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. This is neglect piss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is... The... Yeah, the, we were wandering through uh, Manhattan on Halloween... As one does. You mean New Donk City? That sounds like yeah. a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. It was pretty dope. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there there was a fucking truck, and it it was giant, like a big ass. Um, you know the trucks they used to deliver bread. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. One of those, except it was painted with some shitty weed decals, nice. and it said on the side of the truck, "Buy weed here." <laughs> And then at the bottom it said, yes, really, weed. <laughs> like, it's an old blue ribbon truck, but instead of blue ribbon, have like, a picture of this? it just says blood. I don't know ribbon. why I didn't take a picture <laughs> why? of it. Why? Why? I don't know. I almost can't believe you right now. Well, because we were, like, walking to the bus stop at this point. And I, I was get like, it, yeah. what the fuck? And then we walked, and, like, the next block up, there was another one that just had, you know those, like, gourmet-ass lollipops you can buy at, like, bullshit stores that no one wants to yeah. go to? Oh, yeah. It was shapes of those, but it just said, weed lollipops. Here. And there were plenty of people in line. It's, so they didn't call them lollipots or anything. They could have. No puns. Huh. Yeah, no. They, they got to get a marketing yeah, team. Yeah, they really need uh, yeah. something. A marketing team? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got your marketing team. Yeah. Right. I don't, Give me. <laughs> it was fucked up. I don't know. So yeah, wait, you can, so you, you went through weed. You saw the weed trucks. Yeah. We all come here. You look, you look high. You're eating chocolate. <laughs> well, thanks. I appreciate Britney that. Pretty shirt. How long um, uh, were you two there? When Halloween? Yeah, in just New York. Like, what time did you leave? Uh, bus is at eleven. Oh, okay. Bus actually arrived and left New York at like eleven thirty. Oh, okay. <laughs> because I was gonna say you hit around Times Square at like three in the morning, four in the morning. Oh, that's the best part. Oh, it's, have you ever done that, dude? Yeah, it's dude. So quiet. It's, and it's and amazing. Like, yeah. You see people laying in the like little stoop ways, and you can just tell by their laying if they're like what drugs they're on. Uh, it's crazy. Wow. No, Spend we, enough time to study we, these things. We did see the heroin walk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not the this time, shuffle. but yeah, was, <laughs> not this time. But there was a time I was up there, and it was like four in the morning, and the rats were out in Times Square. Mm. Ah, yes. And they're fuck, they're cats. Yeah, yeah, they're cats. You like them Baltimore rats, man? Oh, yeah. no, not <laughs> quite, not yes. quite. They're they're on steroids. These, in New York. Yeah, yeah, these would fuck up a Baltimore rat. These are like <laughs> th- these are like Battletoads rats. Yes. Yeah. Little greasy hair, little crop top. Mm-hmm. Just talk <laughs> like, everything about that. <laughs> The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are one thing, but yeah. Splinter is a lie. Like, that's a real <laughs> ass motherfucker. <laughs> Confirmed. Um, New York on Halloween's what you'd expect. I've only been there, like, around Christmas time, mostly, and it's awful. It's horrible. I was, um... Wait, what? Like, around uh, Christmas time? Just live, yeah. Yeah. It's like March of the Penguins. Like, you don't actually move like seeing, anywhere. like, the way they decorate some stuff. No, it's so, cool. Yeah. yeah, visually, it's, it's pretty cool. on the buildings. Yeah. Yeah. I was in, um... I obviously went to Nintendo World. Yeah. And while I was in there, they were dumping the snow right outside to put up the tree at Rockefeller Center. Oh, wow. Um, hmm. You ever see the tree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. seen it. it. Doesn't it look so much smaller in person yeah. than when you see it in, like, Home Alone and you do, like, the glamour shot of it? Because they, yeah. they do that, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, like, the slow... Camera like, tricks. Like, I went there and I saw it and I was like, is, is this a, a fucking joke? I know. So, it, like, of course, well, that's I wanted same. to take a picture. Is it a different tree? No, it's it's because it's right in the middle, right? Yeah. They in just the ice they, when they get a new tree. Here's every what year. they do: they, they, they trim <laughs> in in Home Alone. They put the camera down on Macaulay, yeah. and they put it up at the tree. Why didn't fish see, fish fish lines exactly. whatever? Why so you see a tiny caulking and you see mm. a big tree. Like I was I mean, expecting to see like a building sized tree. Yeah, 
But part it's of it, not. like, think of, like, if you're watching a football game on TV, like, the field looks so much bigger on TV, and then you get there, and you're like, oh, I can that run a 100-yard dash. And it the people true. look really small, and when you actually yeah. see a football player, they're pretty big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Got big muscles. And the shortest ones are still, like, 6'2". Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, it's, yeah, it saw some street performers <sighs> banging on plastic things it's cool the first like five right. minutes yeah. but then after it's like, it's like I just, every block I, I want has one that's yeah and then <laughs> i yeah well, it's it's been like five years since i've been in new york so i was like oh yeah what did i miss oh same shit well, the, the key there is to keep going to the same corner like once a year because yeah. outside of verizon center about four years ago <laughs> a man would beat some buckets mm. i guess the tip money's been pretty good it's Dude's been upgrading. He's got a legit drum set. He's jamming nice. out. I actually like going by there now. I'm like, yeah, nice. some drums. Yeah. Going up in a Ferrari. The jazzy Doing for the good. game. <laughs> no, dude, like, Matt, my favorite street performer up there is the people who sell the knockoff Louis Vuitton bags, and then they have to move around the corner because the police are coming and resell them. <laughs> yeah, that's All it. in like giant luggage, like suitcases with the handles and wheels. It's a hell of a performance there. So I have a – because this is probably the only – time that this would ever be funny explaining the story i forgot to explain it last time i was here um at the show that i played so the the guitar the guitar player that kind of made up the band he's like total like yeah if he's a one-of-a-kind person like, yeah he owns like every demo of every like heavy metal band that you've never heard of and shit uh. like that owns it has like so he collects retro games but specifically like the late 16-bit, 32-bit era. So, uh, of course, his favorite console is the 3DO. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Him as, and, as expected. Yeah. Him and no one else. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, as, after the concert, we were kind of just Well, him around. and Trip Hawkins. Sorry. Yeah, him. Yeah. So, uh, after the concert, we were sitting there, and this guy was kind of like, Hey, you're the fucking cool, man. So, you know, we're just, like, talking to him. Yeah. And he was getting his phone number, and he whips out his phone, and it, it's like a Blackberry-looking phone. I'm like, you know, I knew you didn't have a fucking smartphone. And then I look and I'm like, oh, you have a fucking N-Gage. Uh, uh, no, yeah. I'm like, Still? I'm, like, <laughs> I'm torn, saying. but I'm happy. I was like, does that thing work? And he's like, this is my, what are you talking about? I, 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 like, apparently I was the asshole. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and he was like, yeah, what? what's the big deal? I'm like, I've seen you hold it and Electronics Boutique hold. Like, that's it. There's only two times I've seen it. So... Is and he, he gonna buy the Razor phone? Like, <laughs> is that the market? <laughs> he's he's still rocking it. Like, it that's what he uses to call and text. Does he know it plays games? Yeah, he has. Uh, okay, yeah, he, he has like all he owns games, it. Like, he I, I just yeah. wasn't sure. It's the way he like responded to you just made it seem like what? It's just a phone. Like, no, no. Uh, he was like, you? yeah, of course it's an N gauge. Like, it's oh, okay. What's the big deal? I, it's it's like, oh, let me explain the big deal real quick. <laughs> so, Matt and I just got new phones, <laughs> and I feel like this is a little taste of the future, right? Like, it's. Yeah, I'm he holding looks like the future. It's shiny. I'm holding fucking Blade Runner in That's my ten, hand. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. My pockets hurt for you. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's nice. It wasn't wasn't cheap, but it like this is like I'm like, oh my god, this is the most futuristic thing I can have. It's very shiny. Oh yeah, but motherfucker is totally <laughs> satisfied with some 15 year old. Oh no, and he's still like, he, there's a first person shooter on it. And I'm saying that lightly, like <laughs> it had like I don't even think is the game Doom? has it's another part no, of Doom. It's, it's like it's like worse than Doom, like graphics. It's like it's pretty low. Oh and an end game. Have you guys ever held yeah, yeah. an no. end gauge? No, you did don't they need never to? had the pleasure. Did, did, was there a Tony Hawk game on there? There was. He had it on. I, I played <laughs> that. That's what I played at, at uh, EB. So you remember the size of? Hold like, on, hold on. Before you go, I bet that Tony Hawk game is better than five. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> than what? Than five. At least oh, five. Yeah, like, of course. Yeah. But um, no, the screen itself. It's the size of like remember the razor phone? Mm -hmm. It's like that size. And if you if huh. if you looked at that screen size today, you it's like wow. It's like almost the size of an Apple Watch. Like it's fucking tiny. Huh. Yeah. And he, he still I love that. It, so oh much. I, I was like, dude, that's fucking dope. And just he's like, like, Yeah, man. Let me just imagine the people who made the end gauge and they got laughed at they're like, he was laughing now. <laughs> yeah. There's mobile yeah, games. Really. <laughs> it's like I wonder like there's like the people that made the N gauge, and there's a way for them to track numbers of s s people that still use N gauge. That, and every time know. they look at that number, like, There's holy shit! <laughs> like, we didn't even expect that. Because there was two versions of it. There was the one where, like when you wanted to know. change the game, you had to take the battery out. That's the. I don't think that's the one he had. So he has the revision. He had the revision one because it was more boxy. He's got the QD. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got that one. Oh, Man, that looks like yeah. a Virgin Mobile. Yeah, I know, I know. I thought it's it was like a like, Kyocera type. I just thought it was out? like a BlackBerry at first. Two thousand four. God, what? Uh, wow. Was the iPhone even out yet? No, no. I was, I was That's ten so years ago. crazy. It's like iPods. Yeah. Were still fucking like next generation shit in two thousand four. Yeah, Gen one iPod. Yeah, like, like the the, the not the LCD like not color screen. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, for the time, that thing was like a fucking powerhouse. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember the N-Gage section on IGN.com. Though, I also remember... And I remember going and looking and being like, what the fuck? You ever yeah. been in the N-Gage section at an electronics boutique? I saw, I remember seeing <laughs> that little, like, demo set. Oh, yeah. And even then, I was like, this is a joke. I don't know. It was, it was... <laughs> I don't usually call, like, gaming stuff hot garbage, but that yeah. that's... That's that's so what, up there. All right, what were the top games on the end gauge? Tony Hawk, bad saying that's lightly it? though. <laughs> but apparently the shooter, it's like and the uh, fucking dope shooter of all time. It's like oh. that and Centipede. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was that. Like, yeah, it's pan, that game Pandemonium, the two D oh, game with God. like the testers. That they was had, like the uh, big game. They had Bomberman. They had Call of Duty. <laughs> well, of Wait, no, that was like Call, Call of Duty. Du- that was Call of Duty. Yeah, too. period. That was, Call of yeah. Duty. Pandemonium. <laughs> There, I mean, there's a lot. I'm skipping some. Oh, Puyo Pop. Huh. Rayman 3. Red Faction. THQ getting in Red on that fa- shit. How was that? <clears throat> Hell Red yeah. Faction. Man, that game was dope. Sonic Team game. jumped in with Sonic N. I don't want to know what the fuck that is. You don't need to. <laughs> Spider-Man 2. <laughs> Super Wait, Monkey Ball Jr. The movie Spider-Man 2? Yeah. Well, that was the good game, though. <laughs> yeah, but that, not, for that, I'm not sure. <laughs> Tomb Raider. <laughs> Tomb Raider. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I'm sure it runs. They had a though. Worms game. Xanadu next canceled games. Uh, <laughs> Go figure. Yeah. Oh my god, worms on a phone. I like, that's say, so much possibility. They had some decent yeah. like titles though. That's what I'm saying at the time. To, like, right? yeah. what we have on like mobile phones. Because mobile right? game phones at the time it was like centipede. Well, we do get the licenses, yeah. but they're just you know tap to pay. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but like these, <clears throat> I feel like these games were trying to be like legit games. Oh no, yeah. Really. I mean, back in 2004, that was revolutionary. Oh, it was definitely revolutionary. Fucked up. How's bad? Ideally, like? yeah. Yeah, how does how does he keep I, that thing turned know. on? Like I I don't know how it still works. So like when you send him text messages, that can yeah. you text him? Yeah, I've texted him. <laughs> I've texted him what multiple times. Does he, does he have to play a game to reply back? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the carrier? AT and T. I think it's T Mobile. Well, because it was singular. Because yeah, it was singular. That I don't. And AT and T swallowed works. singular. How do you have that active today? I don't know. Like, I remember, so, like, my dad says a fucking flip phone, and, like, he'll buy one from Walmart for $4 and pop a SIM card in the back, right? But then, like, there was one phone that he had where it hit a point where AT&T was like, yo, we can't give you a SIM card for this. you got to get a fucking new phone. So he had to go buy a whatever burner and, like, shove another SIM card in I wish I could tell. I'm going to have to ask him the next time. Yeah, I need some, I need, um, that's the part that's breaking my brain. Not the fact that, like, you know, 2017 is here, but... Oh no, yeah, no touch screen. I, I'm gonna say this though, and I, I've said it before, and I'll say it right now. If I'm gonna be careful with this, but I remember years ago saying that if Nintendo had like made a Game Boy phone, I would buy it. I <clears throat> I would buy it. I mean, at this point, I'm way too invested in the you know what I mean, like the Apple ecosystem. Mm-hmm. I've got all it's. So it'd be hard to walk away from that. Yeah, but actually, like, probably wouldn't because it would probably be Android based. Yeah. No, no, I don't know because it's Nintendo. They'll probably do their own thing. See, well, but it, that's where it gets all fucked up. Matt is so excited about this. Thing. That's, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the Switch interface? <laughs> no, I know. I, I, this is like pipe dream shit, man. So I didn't mean to like derail, but I, I just needed to, no, that, to I, share. I, I, I'll be so happy that the end gauge is no. still out there. <laughs> Still haunting us. It's, yeah, Jesus it's not haunting Christ. though. Keep your children inside. That's all I got. Like say. I was pissed for like a millisecond. I was like, no, you know what? Thank no, of God. Of course. Thank God. No, <laughs> you're still really be pissed off. That's you just, was, I, you just laugh and smile. Yeah. Those I dudes mean, are my favorite dudes. He, no, he's like he's, he's dupe. Those dudes that just they are Ooh. they are period like that. Yeah, mm. that's just how they are. I mean, no, you can't can't copy and pi- you can't copy and paste them. It's mm-hmm. just them. I mean, that's a Nokia partnership with Microsoft. So what the Engage was? Yeah. Oh my god, really? was that the original Windows Phone? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Shit. Rip. Maybe, man. So I guess whoever is still, I guess anybody can be a provider at that point if they're providing whoever provides Microsoft phones or Windows phones, or whatever. Fucked up. <laughs> that's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. it, I think this is 
That's so cool. That's so much so easy. I know. And I just, I'm, I'm flabbergasted prime, that it still works. That's his like primary device. Yeah. That's his, yeah. When he talks on the phone, you know, have you ever seen someone talk on the phone? <laughs> yeah. Like God. talk on it on the side. No, like I went while I was wandering through <clears throat> Times Square. Katie went to a show and I didn't want anything to do with it. So I went to the Nintendo store and then I played uh, some video games uh, across the street in the Starbucks. Would. And I left there and I'm wandering back to find her. And I walk past a motherfucker with an iPhone 4. And I saw, like, he had it plugged in. I saw the 30 pin. And I was just like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> like, was he's he like, smoking taking... a cigarette? Please tell me he was smoking <laughs> yeah. a cigarette. He's taking pictures of shit in Times Square. And I was like, yo, come dude. on. Dude. <laughs> I wanted to give him my phone. I was just like, here. Was that a 5 megapixel camera? <laughs> No, it doesn't. It, why? I, think I still have my four. It was a pixel, uh, a pixel. But it, you got it in a yeah. box somewhere. Because why would you keep using that as a yeah. self-respect? But that, <laughs> man, I'm gonna have to keep. I'm gonna at band practice. I'm gonna video record it. I appreciate it in action four, to but prove it. This <laughs> welcome to Stokey. That's what Nokia I mean. <laughs> when I when I saw the iPhone four, I was like, whoa, dude, blast from the fucking past. And then no, like, uh, not at hold all. Hold on, hold the yeah. press. <laughs> Hold, please. I got an update. Like for Vice you. needs to do an article on him because Vice would do an article like that. It's like the one guy still yeah. rocking no, yeah. the game. I thought there was a, some whatever. It doesn't matter. Someone did a thing where they were like, I tried to. Li- I think it was like around WWDC when Apple announced iOS 11. Someone was like, iOS 11's on the way. I wanted to see what it'd be like to live in iOS 4 or something. So they like busted out <laughs> an iPhone 3G and they were like, Jesus Christ. Let's see what happens. And like every website they went to wouldn't load because. Safari mm. didn't support. Like it yeah. was just like struggles real. Yeah, <laughs> can you imagine trying to live? Ugh. Ben, I think he has one free cheese moment of the year. Oh my With god! That story. <laughs> <laughs> With yeah. that story, like I'm so happy right now. It's yeah. just better because yeah, it. Uh. I'm gonna, I thought I was I'm gonna happy have to bring with it. I'm gonna just bring it with me. I'm gonna have it, dude. Let me borrow your phone. <laughs> oh, I thought I was so happy. About <laughs> I'll, I'll give you phone, mine. <laughs> but I'm missing out, obviously. Like I need an engage now. <laughs> I we gotta. I'm gonna look at eBay while we're. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. come next week and change it. So, engage. Fucking. You remember the phone Square was trying to sell? Does that Square. Right? Square. Yeah. So like they were trying uh, to. Nope, they were no. trying to push a phone during Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, oh, and there was God. like adverts of Cloud using that phone. He uses it in the in the movie too. Was it like a, a <laughs> Sony phone? Um, I believe so. Actually, uh, forty dollars. What an engage. Forty dollars. So smash that buy oh, button. Panasonic was the phone Claude was using. Oh really? Oof, which one are you getting? Uh, yeah. Panasonic. Which one am I getting? <laughs> which one are you getting? Because I'll get the you other. Think one. It, you think it would be a Sony phone? Oh my god! I got the. Dumb. Oh my god! I found a listing for all three of them for like seventy six bucks. There are so many fucking N gauges on eBay right now. <laughs> he said, oh, it doesn't yeah, matter if it breaks. It'll yeah. just be like I'll just buy one off eBay for fifty bucks. Yeah, you gotta. I need. To, I need to know if it's the same one he's had since it came out. I'm gonna have like, to interview. Oh my god, this one comes with a Tomb Raider game. Hold did on. he? Yeah. <laughs> like which which games has he played through? Obviously, all of them at this point. Well, he, he was scrolling through them, and because he was just showing me like there, that it was actually working. Are so they installed? Like, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm gonna go home and know. keep drinking. I'm gonna the try first to get generation to the point one, where I'm gonna buy one. The first generation <laughs> one, it it only took cartridges, and if you wanted right. to change the cartridge, you had to take the battery out. No, better Weird. yet, I actually uh, I got to How the point with my that? Switch where uh, I'm running out of memory. I bought a memory card. That's like card a keyboard this week. phone. Yeah, yeah. I, I've never heard of that. That was uh, unless, unless I forgot. It was whenever the DVD first. I mean, I'm going to uh, return um, it. Like 2006. Oh, okay. And you're in game with it. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Uh, Dude, the amount of money I just spent on that memory card, 64 uh, gigs for the Switch, is an end gauge. That is an. Interesting What's more important phone. right now? Yeah. You just turn half of it sideways. Fuck. God. <laughs> God, I bought the wrong phone. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's all right. You know what I could do for the amount of money I put in this phone? I know. You could have, like, 50 N gauges. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have an iPhone. <laughs> I have 50 N gauges. All the generation of N gauge oh phones. God. I will get away all from two? the garbage app store. I will be free yeah. of it. No, the app store is fixed. No microtransactions. There's, but it, there's, there's, like, Steam. There's junk in it. Yeah. Eh, it's all, it, whatever. I like it now. One man's trash now. The Same. Tomb Raider game that I can get right now. <laughs> yeah. That is so. That's ne- that statement that has never been truer. Yeah. <laughs> like one is man's it? trash is another man's no, no, treasure. No, 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 no. That, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> that is him. That's the that epitome. is him. That Dude, is him. Dude, guys, this, this is trending. Is one viewed per hour? That's. <laughs> I gotta outbid the next person right now. <laughs> that is fucked up. 
<laughs> Speaking of which, Tamagotchis are coming back. Do you know that? Uh, yeah, I saw their. Yeah. How the much are they on eBay? <laughs> I, I, you know, when I first got my Apple Watch, I got a Tamagotchi app, and those are the people who made Digimon. Yeah, the I don't miss it. The yeah. Tamagotchi. <laughs> like, I, I never miss, really, uh, I never really had one. I had the Pokemon Pikachu. I, I my brother had Boy. that. It was a watch, right? It was just yeah. a little clip one, little yeah. Game Boy. There was a yellow one. There was a color one later. It was a clear like casing. And then there was like the four million different. Chinese knockoff variants right. that yeah. came along with it. Then, of course, there were the uh, Scratch and Sniff Rugrats Burger King movie tie-in watches. Yeah. I got the one with Chucky's face on it. You scratched it and it smelled like bananas. That's dope. <laughs> you want those Star Wars Episode One watches that come in a tin? <laughs> <laughs> also Burger King. Oh, my God. Um, you, should, you should download the Tamagotchi app and play it just to give it. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I mean, I play Digimon Links. That's enough. I, they don't poop. This is a different layer of hell. You know? I can't <laughs> drop the Nokia Engage because I'm factually with it. All right, get it, get I just it went out. to Amazon. Yeah, and I search and I search Nokia Engage. Sixty nine results popped up. It's meant to be. It's a sign. It's meant to be. Oh my god! Is it four dollars and twenty cents? Uh, Those are. I think that's the key. Because <laughs> if you if you buy it like sealed in a box, it you see on eBay they're like four hundred five hundred yes. bucks. Yeah, starting from two forty nine. That's not. I just need. I just need to use one. That's all I need. That's all I need. That and Tomb, Ra- Tomb Raider. Yeah, I'm gonna ha- I'm gonna have to swap phones with him for a week or something. <laughs> just bring it here. Oh my God, they have Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. I'm in. I'm totally. You know what? Right actually, now. no. I'm I'm gonna ask him. I I guarantee you, he's gonna be like, dude. I have like five of them in my room right now. I, and like, all I right. Wonder, I wonder how much. Like, ask how yeah, much. How much? And you get one. I want one. <laughs> I wonder if these are like exact ports of like old Game Boy Color games, just for a phone. That's yeah, uh, yeah. We sh- we'll have to go to the archive.org. Go to the, the Wayback Machine, Just punch in IGN from 2004. Is there a thing for Pi? Is there a... <laughs> we'll have to, yeah, we'll have to research into this. Oh, God. It's like the only way to access that shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> that might be okay, though. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Well, outside of the end gauge, y'all playing any games this week? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, next week I'll be playing Tomb Raider on the yeah, end gauge. <laughs> Stay tuned for that one. We'll have the end gauge hour next week. Um... Stokia. No, I, I played um <laughs> I played a little Mario Odyssey. What's that? Uh, so I had uh, last week I talked about it and I at the time of the recording last week I probably put five ish hours into it um, mm-hmm. and then bus ride up to New York uh, another three on top of whatever I ended up beating the main oh. main thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, like, by beating, I mean, like, yeah, I had, the, like, like... 120 moons, whatever. Yeah. Like uh, you, there, out of 900, whatever. So you just completed, I like, heard, I guess, like, the main story. Like, the main whatever. objectives in each yeah. one, I'm assuming, right? I got through X amount of worlds, beat, for all intents and purposes, the boss. But, like, that's it. Who could it, it be? Yeah. I mean, I heard, like, I heard, like, there was, like, a real ending. Yeah. Like, but I think you needed... I don't know the number. So it could be wrong, but I think it was like eight thirty or something like that. Yeah. Uh, so I can say, I'll, if you if you want me, I, I, I don't think that's really a spoiler. I'm not gonna get you know angry I mean? if it's like there's how many of them. I mean, because yeah. because I'm just telling you just like how to get. I'm not saying what the ending it's is. It's over nine thousand. <laughs> <laughs> what nine thousand? After after I beat what I beat, um, I needed to get to I think two fifty in order to get to a new thing. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. I did that. And now I need to get to 500. I kind of like the way they're doing it. It seems digestible. You know, like you color in a section of a coloring book. Like, all right, now I can move on to this next section. I Yeah, I think, it's just... I think a lot of this game has been, in the same way that Breath of the Wild did it for me, this game has kind of thwarted my expectations time and time again, where I, I thought the capture mechanic was going to be the whole hook, and I was really going to hate it. But yeah, it's I, really not, it's not. Um, the whole thing. No, like you use it less than you use Mario's costumes in previous games. Um, you know, it's not like you're spending the duration of a level in a costume. You're kind of like, no. well, I need that moon. In order to get that moon, I need to become this thing for two seconds to get up that thing for three seconds. Um, and it that that part surprised me. And then when I started hearing, like, there's 900-something moons, I was like, how in the fuck? Yeah. Um, but I'm like, you don't feel overwhelmed. Like, you guys have seen enough now where you know like you kind of get to a world yeah, I got a little further. the world is fucked up you fix that part that's fucked up because this is dark gritty reboot right yeah. 
Uh, but, but you fix whatever is whatever. Mario dies. Right. Yeah, it's all <laughs> Damn, goddamn it, Ben. Yeah, Waluigi, Waluigi ate him. Yeah. Um, you, you, you fix whatever's wrong, and then you go back in, and you're given a new opportunity to find other weird parts of this world. Mm-hmm. Uh, even after that, there's even more you can do. And then after you beat the main thing, there's more parts open yeah, they, up. They within. just keep adding shit. You just keep going back, and like yeah. it's all... All like digestible mm-hmm. in a way. You already said that, right? Yeah, because like, each world is like a little playground, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I like that with different backdrops. The uh, yeah, a couple of the surprises that have happened so far. I was just like, it's you know, it was just shit that was like, what? That's fucking cool. You know, it wasn't anything like. Yeah. You know, run. there's a part that bothers me where like, cause that sense of incompletion, cause you know there's more and you can't do it yet, and it's like I just want it all now, cause I don't want to come back. Just like, but this, <laughs> this doesn't give me that but, feeling though. Like this, I was, like, that's how it was at first, and then like, it, it by was, the time I reached like wooden, I was like, all right, you know what, yeah, I'll get there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but some games like you feel like you're not doing it right if you didn't whatever. Like, it's, yeah, I know when it's I, OCD. yeah, I beat it. And I texted Akko, and I was like, I, know about that. I was like, oh, I beat it. <laughs> um, I know, you know, I was just clearing. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. well, the, the clearing disorder. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. clearing. <laughs> um, I texted Akko, and I was like, ooh. And he was like, oh, how many moons you got? And I was like, I don't know, like 100 and whatever. And I was like, how many you got? And he's like, oh, 300. And I was like, oh, shit, did you beat? He's like, not yet. And it was like, he had so many more moons than I did, but, you know, he was so, yeah. world. Like, I feel like five, technically, five, yeah, five, right, right, whatever, right. I feel yeah. like you're never going to really complete it because I think once you hit 666, six, six, you're going to stop playing. Me? Yeah, true. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I mean, you're yeah. keep running you around, now? but you're not collecting more moons. I think, huh? <laughs> How many do you have now? Uh, I think I'm in the threes. So somewhere. when you get to 420. Right, then it's over. Uh, yeah. But here's the thing. I think they're a 999, which is 666 six, six, upside down. So, so now you got to do it. Just put up. Oh, you got to play the game <laughs> looking at up. Flip. Flip yeah. the switch. Turn upside, it up. Yeah. 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 That's how you do it. Um. But it's been just been fun. Like, jump in, grab a couple moons, move on, whatever. Yeah. Um, Akko beat it, beat it. He texted me two nights ago and was like, yo, 100%. That's Akko. That's one person. I admire that dedication. It's fucking nice. Where do you get the time? Well, he did call off work for like. That's great. There it is. Yeah. Now we know. But even though, even when he is working, like I'll I'll get on Steam and then he'll be playing in a game and it's already like what are, he already hundred percent it, I, yeah. doing all the optional shit it. already completed it. Yeah, yep. don't get it. Yeah. That game's really good though. Like it just <clears throat> I didn't fun. play any more of it. No, no, I didn't play any more of it. But I am flying to Nashville. So that's there you go. yeah 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 yeah. You got yourself a little uh, battery pack. Uh, I'll get one. Yeah yeah yeah. Grab is one it of them. Mandatory? Huh? The battery pack? No no no. But like. I don't know how long my flight is. I'll okay. probably kill it if I keep playing it. I'll, I'll okay. get You're, a little charge. I mean, get like a specific oh, dock. Oh, we can plug in any USB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. So you just yeah. get a specific dock that where the wire can, you know, oh, not yeah, be yeah. in the way since it sticks out. Because you can't kickstand it and have the charger in. I'll probably, yeah, I'm yeah. all about handheld. I'll, I can't I'll tell you what, though. It. On the flight, kickstand's not the way to go. I'm flying south. I heard, and you're not like, you're talking stable. about that. Yeah, your table tray is too low and you have to like do a weird. No, I was going to do handheld. That's you how I played the. I did the, you know, um, 3ds or 2ds and uh, Vita like, that way. Like it's fine. Yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll be at least a few hours that way. I I think I I was good from like 100 to 15 percent on a three and a half hour flight. So I can't imagine. Oh, yeah. I'm not. I don't think I'm too terribly longer. Actually, yeah. I'm probably, no, I'm shorter. shorter. I'm shorter. Yeah, I'm yeah. shorter. Um, unless you like, unless you do one of those dumb flights where like. Leaves Baltimore, flies to I'm fucking direct. Washington, direct. and then yeah, I'm Washington direct. State. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. Um, I might play it at night. Some I don't know. We'll see yeah. at the time. Yeah, I'll get one of those definitely. Uh, did you play any of it, Mark? A little bit of Mario. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, so last time we talked about it, I think I was in what kingdom? I think I was finishing up the. You were still in the desert, yeah. weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So from there, um, I kind of backtracked a little bit. Just to see, because I yeah I went back to the very first place, the Cappy or whatever, yeah, like the, the Tim Burton world. world, the Ghost Dude, World. Okay, is that not Nightmare Before that, Christmas? When I saw the trailer E three, I was like, "This is Nightmare Before Christmas." But like, <laughs> I I spent some time. That was the after I kind of I was mm-hmm. like, "I'm gonna go back in 100 percent that first one," and I was really in there for a while. The fucking music is straight up like, there's like elements of it that sound like Jack's Lament or yeah. like there's um when I got the outfit there, mm. the tuxedo and the top hat. Did I get that? I don't know. Yeah. Wait, um, there's a store there? Yeah. I mean, there's just people that stand outside. There's a store in every... <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
All right. I thought it was just like a but weird yeah, it's not, little it's tutorial not, thing. It's not a like, thing. It, it is. But if you chill long enough there, Mario will just lay down, kind of start yeah. to sleep, and then a little bird lands on you, a little bird with a top hat. <sighs> Fuck him. Classy ass bird. Stoop. And then, like, so I went back to, the, like, the dinosaur world a little bit, too, whatever. I don't like that one. Is that it's... as good as Crash Bandicoot, though? If you play as Coco, <laughs> Coco will sit down. Can you be a T-Rex in Crash Bandicoot? <laughs> I'm talking about the, the yeah, idol. I'm talking about the idol. The idol, idol. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're right. You're right. Don't Better ever <laughs> try to get on Crash Bandicoot, okay? I'll do it again. Can you be a T-Rex? <laughs> uh, I can ride one. <laughs> Uh, no, like, uh, Coco will sit down, pop up the laptop, and she'll be on the Crash Bandicoot Reddit. Oh, that's fucking dumb. That's, I love that. That's cool. <laughs> and, like, it's, cool. It, you can't see it, but you can see it just enough. Is it really? Someone took the screen capture and compared it. Yeah, it's the Crash Bandicoot Reddit. Is it the, like, R34 Reddit? <laughs> or... Oh, all right. That's all right. Never mind. No, uh, so a Crash Bandicoot. 4 like, Keep it PG, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's the Crash Bandicoot I want to play. <laughs> nah, I, I, no, I don't think I want that. I don't know. Uh, but then I started going, and I started progressing forward, and then they get that fork in the road between, like, the lake and wooden. And I was like, right, crap, right. can I not come back until after a while? Then I realized, I know, you, just, you yeah. can go to both. Yeah. So I went to lake first because everyone else was talking about wooden. So I was like, well, we'll see what lake's like. Yeah. Mm, I don't care. Don't like lake. Don't care for lake. Dumb, weird mermaid people. Yeah, they're, they're not, fine. They're not like, Zoras. I'll no, say right, that. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> the literal sea cucumbers. Like, that's yeah. what. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't, just, like, jumping through there and trying to, like, find moons i just got bored in that one yeah i think because like moving in water is never fun in any game and especially I mean, this in this one a little okay just because of the cheap cheap <laughs> if yeah if you function, take over the cheap cheap but... you got echo to dolphin that's the only one. Oh shit sorry yeah <laughs> the game was dope but then i went to wood and then i had a good time and oh my god the music yeah. i mean you heard it in last week's podcast but yeah that yeah so i, I left off oh. there i haven't um done anything since then it's good though it's very good i enjoy my time you're playing docked undocked so, Handle. I've kind of been switching yeah. through them all. Ah. <laughs> oh, that was actually unintentional. Fuck. Mark's for here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for once, that was unintentional. Um, pun intentional, rather. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, but, yeah, like, I, I tried doing the kickstand and then use my pro controller and all mm-hmm. that. And it's just, I don't, I can't, I just can't do it. I don't know. And, like, handheld, I'm not even going to try. What is the point? I, I was okay with. Because, like, oh, God, I didn't know. Oh, that Whatever. Part. Like, I, you know, like Matt pointed out before, like, that's. I'll live with it. I'll figure it out. I I haven't really needed motion. I've been pretty yeah. good. And like the parts where you might need it, I'm just like, well, I'm not gonna get that moon. I, I only do it for, <laughs> yeah, like I only do it for that one like spin attack thing. That's yeah, it. it's yeah, a little that's... bit easier to do it like like that than it is to twirl Mario and then do it. Yeah, that's in just an extra no, second luck, like... that in a platform might be crucial. I'll try yeah. to like have a pro controller and then it's kickstand in front of me. I'll try to you know, throw like I'm throwing a hat and just hit the fucking hit switch. The and, like, yeah. Well, no more Mario for yeah. you. Tea <laughs> spills everywhere. And, yeah. Then then you don't have to worry about it. Then you don't have to worry about how to it's play. It's the Wii mode being thrown at the TV all over. Yeah. yeah, it's just a little weird. Yeah. Yeah, and then so I'll be able to transfer my save content, no problem. I just, yeah, I just prefer a <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously. I, I five. <laughs> like, any any opportunity I've had to play it docked is much better. It looks better, too. Like, it's not... It doesn't yeah. look bad handheld, but it's definitely... You can see a little bit of a... Mm. I'm still trying to get better at, like, uh, scaling walls. I uh, mean, so not, not jumping between two walls. One wall... Trying to scale up by doing all these weird little tricks. Yeah, yeah it's dumb. like you, you know, we have move, move my hands like Johnny Depp right now. But it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to do those weird. Uh, you throw the hat, jump, hands. bounce, comes back. They you know leap forward, just move cancels. It's, I, like, it's like a fighting game at that point. Yeah, no, to, I gave up on all that shit. People are that's fine. I I don't have time for it. Yeah, I, my hands can only learn so many things. And if I if I start learning that, what what am I gonna forget how to do? You know, true. <laughs> White that's <laughs> this is like one of those other games now like just because of the freedom that this game has that like come ag dq mm. like i just want to see people just break this fucking game oh, they, yeah, will. They, they have run. already yeah, i know already. it's these dumb speed runs already out there it's like no zelda factuated me with like that possibility now this game is like ah what so i cool. want to know is do i have to go back to find more purple coins because mm-hmm. i feel like i never find enough on my first run through Okay. Yeah, I yeah, have they're, a feeling there's they're a out there because I want to because I want to buy everything in the store and I'm like fuck I can't yeah. need 25 coins now I just spent 30. I don't. That's all there was. <laughs> there's sometimes that's not the case, but I can. There's not a moon directly attached to getting like it, in 
in World like One. Get a hundred moon. No, like, like I'm just trying to buy all like the souvenirs and the stickers. For right, the that's <laughs> probably it though. But because uh, you need costumes to get to places, I heard. There's eh, okay, kind of more or okay. less. That's all. There, you do need to get all purple coins. You have yeah. to. I mean, don't worry about spoiling it for me. I that, I yeah. know. I'm just no, trying I mean, not to put I mean, it it's out nothing there, like, like story wise. It's just like it's, if there's a room you can't get into, you need like a kind of like you. Well, yeah, there's that. You pull a herb, <laughs> Sims in the city, where you have to fit in and be a poser for a second. Like, all right, right. you're cool. We can come yeah. in. Yeah. No, there is like in the <laughs> fucking in the uh, the luncheon world, luncheon kingdom. Uh, there's a spot where it's like you don't look like a chef. You can't come in here. To yeah. the chef's um, costume. The, the, the desert world, like right off yeah. the bat, they're like, "Hey, oh, you know, I, you like like oh, okay, I like that. I like that. Can't wait to play." And you you walk in. Sometimes you walk in. There's just a moon there. Sometimes you walk yeah. in. It's a mini game you have to do or a puzzle you have to solve. Um, you do like there's a part later on where um, you talk to someone and they give you there's checkpoints for hitting certain milestones. And, like, they'll give you moons. Mm, okay. And it's like, oh, you got 50 coins in that world. Here's a moon. It's it's not directly in the world you get them in, but later on in another place. Mm. I'm surprised yeah. they haven't done any mini games yet that are, like, Mario Party nods. No. <laughs> you <laughs> don't need that. At least I haven't seen them yet. I'm you don't need that. <laughs> you don't need that. There's a lot of fucked up shit in this I don't, game. I don't, need, I don't need a board. I don't need coins to buy a star. There nah. are, like, there's nope. so many little things. Like, I, I forget who was near me yet, heard it. It was one of you or I don't know. There, like, you go and do the uh, the slot machine style thing, yeah, mm-hmm. um, to get a moon. It's like a bonus game, and you hear oh, yeah, the yeah. line from Mario, Mario 3. Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, 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 yeah. Oh, that's boom, cool. Boom, 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 boom. That's cool. Like, and it, there's nothing else about Mario Three there, but it's it's good. Yeah, a lot, lot of, of throwbacks. A lot of good stuff. A lot, a lot, a lot of good stuff. Um, yeah, Matt. What else are you? What have you been playing? If you haven't been playing Mario. Um, so I, I usually try to play at least like, you know, a couple things, try to keep, you know, the talk in the podcast, bring something mm. new to light. Uh, I didn't, uh, I played a fuck ton of Shadow of War. Not Duke Nukem Forever. Not Duke right. Nukem Forever. Uh, not uh, Wolfenstein. No. You said you were going to play Duke not Nukem Mario. Forever. That's what I thought. All right. Yeah, I thought that. Oh. <laughs> Just a lot of Shadow of War. So if, uh, rewind back to last week. Yeah. Um. I said, hey, I got to this point where it's like, there's no turning back. The world's going to look different. You should polish up these side quests. So it was either that night or the next night. I uh, I did that. Yeah. And I played a story mission. And some cool things happened. I was actually like, oh, that's kind of interesting what they did there. And then the game didn't end. Mm. Oh. Uh, so this game, um, it's very direct with how it breaks it up in acts. There's act one, which is mostly like the tutorial stuff. And you'll get through that if you go right through the story stuff within like two hours or so then there's act two which is some meat act three is this entire story mission mm. and it, the story mission itself is about an hour and a half long it's it, it, like you're locked into it but there's just a lot of stuff happening it's not it's not like it's the same thing over and over again it's it's interesting what it does but then you come out of it and you go to act four I'm mm. like, oh i saw that I like, oh all right well this game's not over yet so, um, I in case people do care about the story, and it's kind of interesting what happens in that hour and a half, but the reasoning for what I'm doing in Act 4 is either not there or makes no sense at all to me, or mm. I totally lost it. Um, but you're, the, fortress, the fortresses you claimed in Act 2, because you were building an army to attack and take over, you are now defending these fortresses. Mm. From the the, the orc har- the orc army, um, uh, you know, time like you're just defending them, and uh, I was like, all right, well, you know, I'm on the defense now, and I'm kind of stocking up my army, I'm leveling them up as I do this, and you know, after I defend each of these fortresses, because there's about five main like fortress maps in the game, after I defend each one, I'll move on with my life, and we'll probably complete the game, and whatever, I'll move on to Wolfenstein, right? So I do each one. And it's broken into stages. It's very weird how to do this. So it, as soon as Act 4 starts, you'll see like an overview of the map. And it's like, um, I, oh, I forget what they call it. It's like, I forget what they call the act. But it's like the stages of war or the shadow. Like, I, I, it might actually be the shadows of war. It's like uh, 50 shades of war? It, it, oh, well, I'm getting there. <laughs> um, oh. So it, I like this. Go so on. Like, it, yeah, it yeah. pans up and it goes to the fortress you, you have to defend. And it's like stage one. I'm like, oh, all right, well, that's stage one. I'm assuming there's probably, like, 
four or five stations. Uh, the number of fortresses I've conquered, I'm going to take back. And then me and this orc army are going to take down Sauron once and for all. You know, you like go. every freaking Lord of the Rings movie. Yeah. So I defend the first one. Stage one's done. Defend the second one. Stage two's done. Defend the third one. Stage three's done. Defend the fourth one. Stage four is done. And I that is the last one, I think. There might be stage five. But uh, I think I conquered the last one. And then it's like, whoop, there's another stage. And then two fortresses pop up I have to defend. And they're two of the same ones I already defended. Hmm. And I'm like, huh, and they that's each weird. Have stage one, stage two, stage three. No, each of stage those? one is one, like, like the east portion of the map. Stage two was the north. Uh. So when it comes back around, now all of a sudden, like, stage six incorporates the east and the west. I mean, if you think of a constant army attacking, they're not just going to stop yeah. that one time. They're going to keep coming. So yeah. you have to, like, keep. And that's Logically, fitting. that makes sense. Fine. Yeah, How is it from a game? Yeah. In a, in a yeah. video wise, game. I can see that being a pain. Yeah. Um, this was when you were in New York, and I was dog sitting. Like, yeah. I, I had that moment where I defended Last Fortress, and I'm here, and I was looking at Oswald, and I'm like, I, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> just give him the controller. It's like, <laughs> and uh, I, I, I couldn't, like, I had to know what I was getting myself into, so I Googled it. There's 10 fucking stages of this. And they last how long, you said? Each. So, this is the fucked up thing. So, each each stage, the now I'm at the stages, because I've kept playing. I'm like, yeah. I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. I'm at, like, stage seven, but now each stage has, like, three fortresses at a time. Damn. So, it's literally the same thing over and over again. And if you remember what I said last week, I was like, man, these fortress takeovers are a lot of fun. They do it. They spread it out enough. I can't see me doing this ten times in this game, though. So where do you stand on this? What are you What are you doing? Well, I'm that's playing that, it. That's, yeah, I'm playing it. Like I'm, it's it's so dumb. Like I hate myself for doing this almost. <laughs> but you've <laughs> come so far, you know. I it's not just it's not just the OCD kicking in. Mm. I sit here and I'm bitching about this game, but in the back of my head, like. I hope I get home early enough so I can keep playing because this game is just fun as shit. So even you're still having fun. I'm, like, I'm still having fun. Like it's right. the same repetitive shit over and over I again. Think... But it's it's the game's just so fun to play. Like it's hmm. it's Batman mm -hmm. combat. And I think it just comes down to that. Like I just love that mechanic so much, and I'm still just eating it up because there's enough variety, and there's enough variety because of the captains. And it's the it's the variety, right. and it, they make me play in different ways. And sometimes I don't like the way it makes me play. Sometimes they're super easy. It's it all comes back to what I've been saying the last couple of weeks here. That nemesis system just keeps me coming back. So here's the fucked up thing, though. So um, the game kind of is living and breathing based on that one fortress miss mission. So you can kind of level up and build up your orcs, like your captains that are with you. Because they'll fight with you. Of course, this is like mass chaos, mass war. Mm -hmm. um, you can level them up and get them to a certain point. Or you can just jump in, do whatever. When you get in, though, as your captains start dying and like you're battling or whatever, like if you lose, it's not like a retry. It's they have the fortress back. You got to take it. So if you lose and most of your captains die, you have to re- build the army in that region hmm. which the actual mission itself for the fortress might take 20 minutes if you lose that mission though you're fucked and you're there for like two hours rebuilding it oh, damn God. have you had to do that a couple I mean, times like, yeah a couple times and that's because i'm an asshole playing on an mss difficulty i've been doing this the entire time on the hardest difficulty oh uh, okay um but yeah like i don't know though they i i tried because when you're doing it as a defense one, you're not going from point A to point B to point C, capturing the points. You're kind of in charge of defending all the points at once. At first, I was just at, at like point A and just battling, battling, and just getting myself killed. But then I was like, no, like I'm the commander of this army. Like I'm going to go where help is needed. So like now I just like pick a dragon because <laughs> I, I have the ability to summon the dragon now, nice, which is nice. awesome. So I immediately cool. call in a dragon. I ride, and I just breathe fire on the front lines of the army. So and, you do it. and then once the front lines of the army like die off or they start going up over the, my walls, I'll drop down, let my dragon do whatever, and then I'll come in and go to the points. And as my other points start getting taken, like I'll just run around from point to point. Like I'll come in, chip away at a captain to where my other captains take them out, leave and go to the part that needs reinforcement and like it's so weird like it sounds like a dumb gameplay mechanic but it makes me feel like i am in control of this army like mm -hmm. i am like 
the like the captain of this army who's guiding it to victory and i'm going in where they need me and it, it's so dumb and that's i keep cool. doing that's it over and over again but that feeling is kind of awesome the thing that i think of when you speak about that is my fond memories of dynasty warriors uh. that is very repetitive <laughs> And I know that for a fact, but the fact that you have a character that keeps leveling up and you learn new combos and get better weapons, better shit, you're that one, you're you're one man army taking on another army, and I've always loved that feeling. And as many (laughs) hours, like I gotta be like hour forty of this game, like as many hours I sunk in, I still have these great like orc stories of like the different nemesis system. Like earlier today, uh, yeah, it was this morning. I woke up early and I was start was playing it. That's that's how much like I like this game. Like I woke up before work and was playing it. Um. There was yeah, I did one of the defense things, and I've been doing pretty good about staying alive, like dodging when I need to, get health when I you know go in and out of combat. But uh, there's a mechanic where like if you're about to die, there's like a final strike mechanic, and you have one life, like you have one chance to get out of it. If you get an upgrade, you get two of them. Well, to counter that, there are captains that have a no chance trait, which negates that no matter how many you have. I ran into one of his captains. I got caught in a bad place, and he just he just killed me, and I lost the Damn. fortress. And I was like, "Fuck, there it is!" Like, "Fuck, done. I, I'm, gotta... I'm done. My the fortress is lost. I got to rebuild the army because I lost a lot of captains in this, ba- in this oh, battle." God, that sucks. That sucks, man. I wouldn't be able to come back from that. He became a war chief. Okay. So there's an overlord, war chiefs, and then captains. Okay. That's like the the hierarchy. He became Coming a war chief. Down. Yeah, okay. and you, the only way to get to an overlord is to capture the fortress, and it's like a one-on-one showdown with you and him. And then it's the war chiefs, and the war chiefs usually have bodyguards, so they're tough battles, but you can do it. I was like, no, I'm not waiting for the fortress to face him. I'm fucking him up right now. So I went to his little like nemesis mission, selected it. I went there, and his bodyguard was a lower level than me, meaning I can take him over fucking got to the bodyguard weakened him while this guy's trying to wail at me a way away at me i'm dodging him beating the fuck out of his bodyguard take him over i somehow maneuver this asshole war chief into a corner where his partners is wail on him he fucking <laughs> his bodyguard like ends up slow motion decapitating him Jesus. and it was like fuck you fuck you <laughs> fuck you i'm taking my forces back and then <laughs> All rise, I come in now in my new found army, and I fucking take the fortress as I'm like, fuck that guy, fuck that guy, fuck that guy. Oh, uh, fuck. Did you teabag him? I can't teabag in this game, because I would have. so upset. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's, he tried. <laughs> yeah, you, we, the listeners can't see, but Matt's whole body just like. Just tensed the, up. Oh, yeah. my God. It's such a way like, you <laughs> know. You, that was that was like the first fortress to. I lost in seven times. Yeah. After like my newfound strategy of like, hanging up in ceilings, picking off things. It, I just got fucked by one trait, yeah. but then, oh, I fucked him real hard right back. <laughs> real hard. I hope this game ends right back. Where, like, after the credits, the nemesis system pops up, but it's all blank, and only your main character pops up, because it's a baby orc. It's his nemesis system. <laughs> I, like, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm happy you're enjoying it so much, because I works. did everything I could to talk you out of buying it. I was I, like, dude, you're, you got so much other shit to play. Don't buy this. You're going to be good. And you were like, I don't know, man. I had a lot of fun with that first. And then, I don't know. Like, this this part of the game has everything written all over it for me. I said, I was like, why the fuck are you still playing this? Like, this is shitty. Yeah. But I don't know. It's just, it's just playing the game. It's just a lot dude, of fun. Like, you're enjoying And I don't even it, care so about the story. Like, I don't even care about how the game ends. I just want to keep yeah. playing. I just want to say, like, I progressed through it enough. And... This is the part where I think you've heard people talk about, uh, you might need a loot box here and a loot box there. At this point, you have enough of the in-game currency, and there is an option. Um, one of the loot boxes in the market is something you can buy with in-game currency. It's not like a legendary box where you like guarantee like a legendary orc or whatever. Mm-hmm. But they get you like fairly the orcs and like the like the fairly like the same level you are, which that's all I need. I just need yeah. someone to kind of keep like a captain occupy while like, I come in, chip away real fast, run away, get health or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's all I need. So you have so much of this in game currency from breaking down your loot and just finding it throughout the world that I really like I'm I every once in a while do buy like one of those loot boxes, get a couple captains, insert them into the army, but other than that, like I'm not, I'm yeah. not stressing myself to buy it. And once again, I'm playing the hardest difficulty too. Right, so right, right. Hmm. It's just, 
I don't like I'm not upset about the loot box thing there. I'm upset about the grind this game is making me go on. Like I get maybe defending each fortress twice, but I don't know why I'm doing it five times. Yeah. And the game and the story don't give me a good enough reason to do that. Like what you said, Mark, is fine, but like I've done so much video game ass shit in this game that <laughs> like give me just the video game reason to keep doing this. Yeah. And I uh, yeah, and yeah. I never got it. Yeah. It seems like that that's their way of throwing in the loot box to begin with. It's like, oh, you, this is a stressful part. Well, then we'll just throw Here's this in. Money. Yeah. And there you yeah. go. But that's the thing I want to stress. Like, there, you get so much in-game currency by the end, and you're still doing it as you keep killing these captains or whatever. Like, turn it, yeah. Yes, turn it and get the regular ones and just kind of go with it. Because I heard the game isn't actually hard at all and normal. Yeah, like, I'm just being an asshole. So. Yeah. yeah. But Good. Yeah, that's I, – I doubt I'll be it by Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> I leave – Thursday, I doubt I beat it. There's, I think there's that much left in front of me. God. Did you play anything else this week? Uh, real quick. Oh. I need to follow up on Akko. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, God damn it. No, we got to go. We got to go. <laughs> New card game. Oh, God. Oh, Start no. playing Eternal. I saw. I almost. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't. He said it all, and I've never really played Magic. Um, so, like, I'm he. He talked to it a little bit more than I could, but as a card game, I like it. I haven't played anyone online. I'm still kind of going through like the story stuff, but yeah. it's more like tutorial stuff. How do you? I mean, not not knowing what the online stuff looks like yet. In comparison to Hearthstone, how are you? There's a lot more mechanics in this game, which I kind of like. Um, right. it, the learning curve is a little more steeper because of that. And yeah. There's like new vocab words that I've never heard of before in a card game. Like there's things that like obviously the word is different from mm-hmm. in this game than Hearthstone. And I like oh oh that's this and her got it. But then there's other stuff that I'm not used to in Hearthstone that I have to account for. That is probably like a magic thing, but because I never played magic, like I just don't. I've never been exposed yeah. to it before. But yeah, dude, it's. It's a card game. I like the mechanics of it. Um, so far, from when I play, Akko is right. Like, this is not as luck based as Hearthstone is, That's, which is yeah. kind of satisfying. So I feel like once I'm able to build a deck, I feel Shit's like just gonna drop. Yeah, like if I build a solid deck, like I'm Ooh. more confident that it's gonna work in this game than it would be if I built a solid de- deck in Hearthstone, which is a little bit more luck reliant. I did see. I, I opened up Steam this week, and it it was like <laughs> things friends are playing. And it was just like. <laughs> Ben's playing player unknown, no shit. And then like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like all the, and then it's just like uh I just saw the symbol of the game and then I saw the two icons of my friends that were playing it and I was like, What the fuck are Akko and Matt pl- oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, God. Um yeah, I saw Got a little exposure to that, so yeah. good. That's all. I don't have nothing else to add that Akko didn't add, but just wanted to let the uh your You're audience in. know that your boys talked another card oh, game. Jesus. <laughs> I did oh, see you. I did see you were playing. Year. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's an early access. It doesn't count. Speaking of early access, I saw you playing PUBG. Faulting. Yeah. yeah. Did so it happen? It's not, the magic question. it's not there yet. Oh, damn it. I didn't play the beta servers or anything, though. Ah, damn it. Yeah. Uh, no, what, what else have you been playing? I've been, I mean, I got to go in a couple minutes anyway, but the only thing I really wanted to talk stories untold that's probably gonna be yeah my game of the year yeah really you finished it dude i I finished this i only finished the second episode oh really you like the second one i love the second one Can okay we... not a spoiler i was kind of bummed because there's like a a little jump scare part yeah. which part yeah there's like a when you're, I don't, when you're you, uh... i don't want to say because matt hasn't played it yet Oh yeah, it's when did there's. You buy it? It's just. No, I'm going to. I'm, no, I'm going no, to kind of wait just, for fall. It, it, but the thing is, it has uh, nothing to. It, it's. Right. It's more of like a cutscene. Was it a cheap? Was it a cheap one? It, it, a little. You, yeah. Kinda. It wasn't like but, oh zombie pops but, through the window. Yeah, right, 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 right. You know I mean? Not really like in a horror sense, if that makes sense. I mean, it That's is, fine, but like, like yeah. the setup for it isn't. If yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't know. I. That's fine. A little jump scare is fine. I mean, I finished that episode, uh, all tabbed. <laughs> opened up being uh stories untold sequel that's it's like what I, i'm I just like i'm friends, already ben. <laughs> you come in this podcast it, are they making the sequel no. there the there were someone the thing was it wasn't like some major game site but there was a game site that interviewed one of the developers mm. and he was saying like yeah originally it was based on the first episode like that mm-hmm. was just gonna be the game yeah. but then it kind of just you know did its own part and he was just saying they're working on 
another game now that has nothing to do with that. Hmm. But they would like to come back to it and add at least like extra episodes. Hmm. Interesting. Which would be I I'm fucking game. I'm, yeah. I still have to finish three and four. Yeah. Are these that up this week. standalone episodes like do they stand on kind their own of. or are they connected or are they loosely connected? Where like you I can't play the first that. one. Okay, got it. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Fair. Yep. I love I, it. I, I can't play wait it. to play. You do it. have I, to play them in order though. Yeah. I mean, oh, well, you, I'm not gonna be an asshole. You can unlock them, them but it's recommended you play them in order. I still think one's the strongest. I, I do like one. I mean, I only played the two, but no, two was if if one was a ten out of ten. Two would be a nine out of ten. No, I mean, I can definitely say you absolutely I mean? like huh. playing the whole thing. I, I loved it. That, like, I didn't love one, two that much. I think I, it's I because it. right now, like one, like, three, four, two is my order. Like even like the books I'm reading right now and stuff, I'm like so invested in like weird sci-fi. You've been into yeah. the Hardy Boys stuff, right? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get in the Raging Clue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Babysitters Club. <laughs> right, right, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, but I think that's why because that episode that's strictly like sci-fi right, right, not right. really so much horror yeah, yeah until the end where you're like what the yeah. fuck yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah I'm curious on your thoughts when you finish yeah. it yeah I'm gonna I'm I mean I immediately want to do like episode 3 and then episode 4 I was like you know what yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it let me know if you jump into this this week so I can make sure I do it before next week oh no I'll play it before next week All right, at I'll, least I'll, episode I'll, 3 I'll wrap them up mm-hmm. um yeah other than that uh I played this game it was the game I was talking about right before recording it's called A Date in the Park it's an itch it it is but it's not on itch it's an itch style like indie Mm -hmm. game okay but it's on steam and it's free Hmm. but they have like the director's edition or whatever director's cut but there's no added stuff they just there's like a a handwritten note that somehow ties to the story and then they Hmm. have like their extra like mini game that has nothing to do with that game for a dollar so I'm oh, like, I'm gonna, right, yeah, that's yeah. a fucking dollar. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I create money anyway from PUBG, so yeah. it's not actual Fuck money. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm burn it. My, my Steam account has been authenticated. I'm good to go now. Yeah, baby. I'll be joining yeah, you soon. Baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. But yeah, uh, it this is like a first. Not, it's a point and click horror mystery game, and All right. the graphics are like a bit mid eight, fu- eight not like mid nineties. Not FMV, but they're like Let me get a sniff. they're like digital you versions. Not You're not an F. Now they get a phone. Oh, take, it. take it, take it. I think it's, I no, that's not the game I thought it was. Okay, I like it though. I like uh, the way it looks. I it's only weird. is this a uh, point and click? Yes, yeah, okay. point and click. It's point and click. It's like some weird Doctor Quandary that, shit, man. It, it it the graphics are kind of like that because Doctor Quandary was an FMV, but they took they had pictures like real like the carnival in the beginning, right, right, right. But it was kind of like lo-fi digitized because they it's had almost like they it. fucking rotoscoped. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what this looks like. It's it's kind of the same way, and like this park, I think it's actually based off an actual park in. What's this language? It's Portuguese. Do you have but to... it's no no you're you're a guy that speaks full blown English, but uh, he moves to this town uh, the because you are, find out like his parents yeah. died, and then he just wants to like mm. chill out. So, I, just, I saw a text box that said "Bom dia, send whore." Yeah, yeah, I know. I read that. Like, <laughs> I'm not playing some fucking non-American bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. No, but then no, like America. <laughs> no, you're but, actually yeah. a British dude anyway. But oh yeah. So I'm. I got to it, and you you go to a. It, it's all like introductory part like you're not actually at the bar but there's a the night before you go to this bar and you meet up with this this girl and she's like the most beautiful girl you've ever met blah 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 yeah so you bang a great night with her and then she's like hey meet me at the park at the duck pond at 12 o'clock tomorrow and you're like all right so you go to the park and there's nobody in the park and then you go to the duck pond and there's nobody there and you're just like all right and then of course it's like I wonder if she meant the other pond. So, of course, that means you should probably need to explore more around the fucking park. Uh, so, you explore around the park. And then you get... And you explore, and he's like, man, did I just get fucking stood up? And I was like, maybe she's there now at the duck pond. But the thing was, when you were at the duck pond earlier, you see a mother duck and a baby duck going in a pond. And the mother duck gets in the pond. But the baby duck, like, is struggling to jump in the pond. And that was just Jesus carrying him the whole yeah. way, right? No. <laughs> no, you actually carry the, and oh, the baby you're Jesus. so then after you search the park and you come back to the pond you see you're like the girl's not there and you're like what the, what the fuck man so she you see the two there. ducks come by again hmm. and then all of a sudden the mother duck just like kill, like nearly kills the baby duck and throws it out the pond and then you're just like she's a duck what the fuck so like and then I was like, re- like reading the description of the game's like it's what the fuck am I playing so it was like the description was like 
it's a mysterious horror point and click game and all the like all the steam comments or reviews that i read they were like damn wasn't expecting that awesome game play it and i'm like she's all right play it. She's <laughs> three play ducks it. in a person seat. yeah that's is that the end? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, no, no. That's like... all I got to. No, 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 no. It's just a little taste to. of like no, yeah, what I this game is. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah. all I got to. See, I literally just watched the trailer and it was like, it was funny because I was watching the trailer as you were describing the duck scene. It's the first scene where like the baby duck is jumping yeah. in the pond. Like, ah. See, it's all not right. really a spoiler because it's like the first thing you yeah. get into. But I mean, that's then literally on the same Whatever page. unfolds. <laughs> I don't know, like just playing it. This like, town ain't what it seems. I love that style, that graphic style. Like there was another game I played called Rabbit Hill, which is an actual itch game, hmm. and it's like the same exact graphic style. Hmm. For some reason, why I feel like that is just creepy as shit. Yeah, like that play, low uh, five Batman style. Or, um, yeah, Batman Forever. No, that has like a graphic <laughs> no. style. That's how I feel about some of the stop motion things too. Yeah, yeah. it's, like, it's yeah. like that, like uncanny yeah, yeah, valley, yeah. unnatural yeah. looking. Mm. How it all comes together. I don't know. So. Next week, when I'll probably because it's a short game, so I'll probably finish it by next week. Yeah, I'm curious to hear about that. Let one. me know how that yeah. date goes. You're in the creepy yeah. uh, point and click <laughs> uh, adventure mode. So I, I will there. talk hours yeah. about weird it's point not, and click games. It's not a mode. Is that's it on the end gauge though? Yeah. It's been barracks. <laughs> <laughs> we're not end gauge. But yeah, but yeah, I gotta bounce. Uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, we'll take a quick break, say bye to Ben, and uh, we'll come back. Mark and I will wrap up a couple things. I I played everything. I don't know about you, but I have some things. We'll be right back. Bye, Ben. Thanks, guys. See you. Bye, Ben. I thought we were just gonna say goodbye to Ben, but instead we got real <laughs> deep with some good memes, <laughs> some good uh, monkeys and foxes. Yeah, I I'm gonna be tweeting those out quite a bit, I think. Pretty sure. The just. It's so dumb. <laughs> but then, <laughs> watching a fox say this. Watching the, yeah, <laughs> watching that act it out. Or the fucking... A monkey. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you buy an iPhone 10. <laughs> that's, that's it's not it. a gimmick, people. It's oh a legitimate God. feature. <laughs> it's so good. Anyway, we played some video games. Played a little bit more. Um... Mark, what else did you play outside of um, a little bit of Mario? Um, it's not not too much. Um, I dumped in, dumped, dipped into a uh, <laughs> <just took laughs> dump. That's all I really did. Just dumped just, into yeah, uh, Blaster Master Zero. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, more specifically, Shovel Knight. Yeah, I, when that dropped, I did. I like. I think it that hit right after I had beat the game, so I was like pretty good with that game at that point. Mm -hmm. I jumped back in the Shovel Knight for like a level, and I was like, ah, got it. I understand how Shovel Knight works. But you went a little bit further? Uh, I made it up to Area 5. Oh, shit, I yeah. think there's like 12 yeah, it's, or it's, something. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's quite a few. But uh, yeah, they, I feel like they stay true to each character. Like, they don't, yeah. they don't stay, they don't stray far from their original source at all. Like, mm -mm. even sprites, like, it's... It's pretty cool. Yeah, um, he's yeah. He looks really good. Plays really good. So like side view, he's just you know you can pogo everything. Uh, when you do the top down view in the more smaller levels, um, yeah, the fishing hook. <sighs> I did, I thought was I mean, okay. There has to be a point to this, right? right? I have to get health or something, and you kind of do, but sometimes you pull up a turret out of the water and uh, it starts shooting everywhere cool. for you. Yeah, right? I didn't have that. Um, you know, you have the anchor, which is you know. Hit or miss with that, and uh, what was the other one? Oh, the horn, I think was one. Yeah, that, that, that's the strongest attack. Yeah, and then you have the amulet. Okay, which I've used a lot for uh, like infant minor light invincibility. Yeah, just oh my to, god, I know what all those are. Yeah, 
And then, like, there was one part where it's like, oh, you need, like, some type of light source to get into this dark room. Uh, you just get the gold armor, and you light up the whole place. Oh, God, I love that. The useless <laughs> gold armor. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. I wonder how much Yacht Club input on that, or if that was just all Inti Creates kind of going with it. or They probably wanted to, like, show them just to give them the okay, probably. Yeah, I like that. But, yeah, that's a fire. That was pretty cool. Um, I do plan on continuing that. And then, uh, the only other game I really I feel like it's worth mentioning right now is um, Flint Hook. Yeah. This is a game. I yeah, I played a little bit of that this week too. Oh yeah, yeah. Because did... you were talking about it, and then yeah. it popped up in that humble bundle you, you sent us, and I ended up buying said humble bundle. Uh, did you use a assuming you use a controller? Yeah. Should I not have? No, no. You, I feel like it's easier that way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like kind of twin stickish, and like could you aim with the right stick, and then you like use a button to throw a grappling hook? Because the whole game is based around platforming grappling hook. Mm-hmm. It's a roguelike kind of game going different ships in space and raid them and eventually fight a boss so uh, it's 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 like a running gun thing i don't know, I don't know how to describe it it's it's a weird yeah um it's very interesting yeah you were really stoked about it it's and like an indie bionic commando that's a really good way to put it yep mm-hmm. on a, on pirate ships in the sky yeah actually i believe they released a video of flint hook playing in a bionic commando level uh, yeah perfect so <laughs> makes sense. yeah yeah the that threw me off like because it's not just that the right stick also controls where your thing goes. Like, your left stick can kind of pivot where it goes, too, a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, you're kind of moving, and if you uh, – yeah, it's a weird disconnect. But I love the art design in it. Yeah, art's really cool. Like, it, it looks like um, – It looks like a Cartoon Network show. That's – yeah. Like, it, it, it reminded me of, like, a really, really good, like, browser game. <laughs> Yeah, like that, I don't, I don't mean that to sound like reductive. It, it's no, I think it's just because like it looks dated in a good way. Like it looks like a classic. It looks like something that would have been pushing the limits of things in the mid two thousands. Like yeah, yeah for for that. like an indie developer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. No, I, I love the art style. Like there's no heavy thick outlines on anything. It's just all like those solid colors. Yeah. Uh, the music really got me. Yeah. Like that's that gave me like Teen Titans vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm into this. This is good. I'm into this whole thing. Yeah. It's a, it's a video game-ass game. How many people developed? Was that one developer? That was, team? um, that's the people behind, um, crap, what's that? Is it, is it, is it, it's, it's, like a, it's a mercenary game. I think it's just, is it called Mercenaries? Mercenary Kings? Yes. Oh, it's them. Yeah. Got it. This is their next game. So uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's like a handful of people. I don't think it's too many. But you get different power-ups and stuff, and then you can equip them before going in. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, like, I know I say Bionic Commando, but I, there's also some, like, Mega Man vibes, too, I guess, with the way they do their boss fights. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know, it feels feels pretty all right. I was using the Xbox One controller for it, for the majority, and then I realized that, like, usually if you're shooting, you're moving while aiming, but if you hold in the left bumper, you stay in place and shoot. And for some reason, my left hand does not work well with the Xbox One controller. Mm. Like, it makes me have to shift my entire handling of the controller yeah so i think i just might try it again with a ps4 controller i feel like that's easier to maneuver yeah i was playing that with 360 controller and it was yeah that one's probably fine too yeah. um yeah that game was good i think it's still part of that humble bundle now the day the dev sale mm-hmm. as long as you pay six bucks you get it yeah there's a couple others yeah i'd say it's worth it yeah. I, I paid full price for it yeah, yeah it was like yeah. 15 i think it's 15 yeah or you can like the deluxe with like the soundtrack and stuff for 19 and yeah. i did that afterwards there you go. after i yeah. played it i was like all right yeah i kind of want this art it's pretty cool but if you're into it i like right now jump on that humble bundle yeah because like i saw you were playing um what is that like metroidvania game you were playing hollow knight hollow knight yes i for some reason like subconsciously i got that character mixed up with flint hook and i oh, think yeah. i got another character from another game mixed up with it as well yeah so i didn't know what to expect when i got this and i was like oh okay this is cool no, uh, yeah, I'd say I'd say it's worth a try for anybody who's curious if they like that kind of stuff. And then um, played a very little bit of Dead by Daylight. Finally, Dead by Daylight. oh, that's the uh, that's the Friday the Thirteenth esque like, like you're uh, the murderer yeah. chase down the people, yeah, yeah, yeah. the 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 Pepsi to the Coke, or right? Whatever. How's and that like uh, do you like Pepsi? Um, they're 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 different. They're definitely different. <laughs> um, it took a bit of getting used to. Uh. For me, I feel like the load times are a, 
Like, where are you it, playing it, it on? Should, PS4. Hmm. Okay. Um, the, the the menu navigating is kind of odd, but I guess I get it. It's not just a simple hey, join your friends and let's pick a mode. It's there's four modes to choose from, and then like if you all just want to be just survivors, then there's like a rank thing you can do because you get different perks as you rank up, mm. so your survivor is a little better. Or if you just want to be a killer, then that has like its own thing. But I think that that might be unranked if you're playing with friends and you're Weird. the killer because mm. like it's 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 always a five person party. Okay. So it's four survivors, one killer. Hmm. Which is smaller than Friday Thirteenth, yes. correct? Yeah, yeah, because that's an eight-person mm-hmm. thing. Hmm. And um, yeah, so they have their own original characters, which I like. I didn't get the DLC, but I played with people who have it. So I had Michael Myers chase me. Um, what I like about this game is that the creatures sprint; they can run. Mm. Um, it's weird for Michael Myers to run. Yeah, I don't like that. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> He's not really running. He's power walking, but his character movement of him sliding across the whole map is fast. But he's still in like so it's like he's moving too fast for his leg motion. Mm. So he's like kind of semi gumby around. So I think that's a little unfair, but that's just me. Yeah. But killers in first person, survivors third person. So you have that camera advantage, and you're supposed to like serpentine because when you're first person, you can't see all that stuff, and you can throw obstacles in the way to stop them and whatever. And uh, yeah, the point is to start all these engines up so you can escape. And the ratio changes depending on how many people are playing and how many people are left alive. So eventually a hatch door opens somewhere and you can take that too to escape. Hmm. And while the killer will try to kill you all and put you on hooks that are made out of spider legs and some shit and that takes you to like a black hole. Hmm. I don't understand the lore of this game if there is one. I'm, spiders <laughs> and black holes. Sometimes I mean, you don't hate <laughs> it. The mystery yeah. of a horror game is the best. Yeah, and then like I remember hearing like, oh, you can get Leatherface as well, and then they, on PC right now you can get Freddy Krueger, but it's not the Robert England Freddy Krueger. It's the, uh, the Jack Hero Haley. Yes. Mm. So I'm not really. Are, they, are you like in a night like? You you might not know this, but like, do they like put you in a nightmare, or is it just like, so a neighborhood when when thing? you're when, when you're Freddy, uh, the the map doesn't matter necessarily. I think it's there's like a certain thing that triggers about him to where like once you get somebody, then they start hallucinating, and then they get into a dream world. Oh, Ooh, that's all that's right. So they cool. didn't half ass it. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So like because outside of that, they can't see Freddy that's, until they get right, into the dream cool. world. All right. So they didn't they did it right? Yeah. But like yeah. Freddy's quiet. There's no puns. There's no quips. There's no bitches. There's yeah. none of that. So hmm. I yeah. guess it adds to it. But. Um, can well, you play you... as Johnny Depp? Mm, no, but you can play as um, what's her face, Jamie Lee Curtis, when she was younger. Oh, oh that's cool. Because right. uh, you get Michael Myers, you get yeah, Laurie as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Doesn't look like her, but nah, it's <laughs> there are another one of those movies. Yeah, H O Ween. I know, but she posted a picture. Yeah, no, it's coming next year. I, yeah, I knew it was. I knew yeah. it. But. <laughs> I'm well aware about this, but John Carver is too busy playing Destiny to score it. So, Heck yeah, <laughs> who's directing it? Uh, the guy who did Pineapple Express. Him, Seth, I for, I Seth Rogen, and James Franco. I forget his name, but it's <laughs> Danny him McBride. and Danny McBride are co-writing it. Hmm. All right, I'm in. We'll see. Yeah, and um, each killer also has their tell when they're near you. Like, there's this one lady, she has, like, she looks like she's buff, and she has, like, a half, like, rabbit mask, like a Bioshock splicer. All right. All and, right. um, I forget her name, but, but she hums a song. So when you hear that, that's how you know she's nearby. Also, your heartbeat is going off, too. Okay. And if you see a red light on you, that means she's there. You can't outrun any of these people, by the way. You just have to keep, like... Serpentine. Yep. Yeah, cool. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, so you, you just hear that, but, like, I actually jump because the, the guy that we were going up against, uh, it was me and three other friends going against a rando, mm-hmm. he just came out of nowhere, just, like, jumped at me and got me. I was like, oh, shit, like, just came from the side, and, yeah, that, that game can make you jump just because of another player, so that's impressive. That's pretty good. Um, but, yeah, but they each have their own little things, so Michael Myers obviously has the Halloween theme. If you hear that nearby you, that means you better fucking run. Yeah, get going, yeah. Yeah, so there's just a bunch of that stuff going on. So where where does it stack with Friday the Thirteenth for you? You played a lot of Friday um, the Thirteenth. I played a lot of Friday, and I'm still playing that. Um, they each have their like faults and you know like pros and cons, whatever mm-hmm. as any game does. Uh, but I think overall, I like Friday. Do you think it's because of your time, just like um, the investment or mechanics? Like what? Why? I, okay, so I think as a survivor, Dead by Daylight has it pretty good. Yeah. Um, survivors, you feel very limited in Friday the Thirteenth. Like you feel helpless. Mm-hmm. Um, killer wise, 
Deadly Dead by Daylight probably has better killers as well since there's more well, variety. I was say there's but more than one. but the the good thing that like Friday has is that like it stays true to its source by pretty much in every aspect besides you know Jason teleporting around. But other than that, it's still it feels like Friday the Thirteenth to me. I mean, it's, even yeah. Jason teleporting though, like there's moments in the movies where you're like, how the fuck did he get there? Right, from there? and, so, I, like, it, and it I think that's their yeah, yeah. that's their excuse for it. Um, but I don't know. I just I I just feel Dead by Daylight is probably it's 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 more simplistic. It's a it's a smaller map. You you, you get the point. Okay. Like, you get the point every time you play it. You know, there's always that one agenda. I mean, same thing with Friday the Thirteenth. But you have different ways of escaping. You can work right. together. Find it. Like I feel like it's more of a challenge in Friday the Thirteenth in terms of trying to work with others. Mm. Um, Dead by Daylight, you don't necessarily need to rely on others unless you want to use them as sacrifices or beat shields so you can get the hatch or something and get out. But obviously, I prefer working with others. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's very it's very mixed. But just play style wise, I don't know. I just feel like it makes more sense to play Friday. I think. I like what Dead by Daylight is doing. I think it's a good direction, but I feel like they just haven't fully grasped what it can be, I feel like. Right. I don't know. I, I, there's something about Friday the 13th. I haven't played it. But I've seen a bunch of gameplay of it. Like, that walkie-talkie mechanic, I, like, yeah. absolutely love. That's one of, like, my favorite things in that game. Yeah. yeah if you're not in a party chat, then it's Yeah, then you it's have useful. to avoid the party chat, but yeah, yeah. that's, it's... Because you can get perks where you can just start out with that automatically and get a map and then be like, oh, oh hey, yeah. where are you at? And blah, blah, blah. So, like, that's the other cool thing. Like, in Friday, your survivors get perks and you can keep them all the time did, yeah. once you get them. Like, once your level stays up, it stays up. Then that's by cool. daylight, your ranking is temporary per month. Per, uh, so, you, it resets and you have to keep rebuilding up your character. And it's like, eh. hmm. they don't have a Chad either. So, I'm a little biased. You got to have a Chad Kensington. Dead by yeah. Daily does not have that. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Chaz the man. No, but like it, it's hard to it, it's hard to compare them. I mean, I, they are definitely are similar games, but um, if you want a more just like short, simple, kind of more hardcore ish, I feel like Dead by Daily. Or even if you have go. a smaller party, like some people might not roll with like eight people at a time. Maybe it's a little bit digest digestible to do five. Yeah. Um, Jason Friday for Thirteenth has a better user interface. Mm. Like okay. once you once you have a party, you stay in that party, and it'll always. Oh, that's nice. That. Dead by Daylight, you have to keep reinviting. Oh, ew, that matches, sucks. Over and over and over and over. All right, well, that... so it's like there's just a lot of little things that Dead by Daylight just needs just to make it's it like, like a UI. Smooth. That's all that is. But yeah, I think I think their UI is their biggest problem. All right, well that sucks. Yeah, huh. but it's worth the price, like twenty bucks or 20? whatever. Yeah. yeah, twenty versus forty for. Friday? Yeah, well, I know I think, you can catch I think on sale, Dead but... by Daylight was on sale not too long ago. If it's still not, uh, it, maybe it's over. tomorrow. Oh, okay. It ended on, um, I think Halloween or okay. the, like, the day I mean, after. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. On, on PlayStation, anyway. Mm -hmm. PC had a cool version for Dead by Daylight where you could get Bill from Left 4 Dead as a survivor, and then you could get costumes from Left 4 Dead for other survivors to wear to look like the other survivors. Oh, cool. So I was like, that's a nice nod. You know, Bill's my dude, too, but sucks he's not in the ps4 one why is bill your dude he was just my favorite character in left 4 dead oh i don't know he was just like the the vietnam veteran who just too old for this shit mm. like yeah bill you're the man <laughs> 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 but that's pretty much it on my end i i i said it before i i, I played everything man <laughs> i played everything no i i I did play everything, but by everything, I mean the game everything. As part of that uh, Day of the Devs bundle that you mm -hmm. uh, talked about with Flint Hook, um, you got David O'Reilly's Everything, uh, which you may know as that game where the bears roll around and move really weird. Oh, duh. Oh, my God. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, didn't I, did I show you this? Did you find it on your own? Did we find like around I, the same time? I don't remember. I'm, I'm, I yeah, think you like, said I was, like, I, was like, I was like, I know that name. Did you? I'm, I'm subscribed to his channel. I love his animations. Right, right, right. He did that little thing in her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, um, I forgot. I wanted to get that game, and I never did. Dude, you fucked up by like it sucked because you bought <laughs> Flint Hook. That was in the bundle. I didn't even realize it. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, you bought Flint Hook. <laughs> so stoked for Flint Hook, and yeah, then I should have got everything. That, and then you were like, "Oh, that bundle had it. I could have saved a couple bucks." Oh I, well. Because I remember I showed you that clip, and you're like, "I feel like I just 
played the whole game or just saw the whole game or something. No, I felt like I found the whole universe is what I said. Oh, that was like okay. that. <laughs> it was like a 10 minute like whole expose with um, Alan Watts' narration over top of it. Yeah, they and, showed that at like an indie festival, like an indie movie thing. Yeah, like that was the number one watched YouTube video like that month, period. Not game video, you Ooh, just sorry. video in general. Um, yeah, so everything is... I think aptly titled. Um, yeah. It, you kind of, the game starts with you, you're just a piece of light, kind of, and there's just a couple of like very existential questions on screen. You know, the, the stuff that we all continue to ask, you know, mm. why, what am I doing here? Where, where did what's, I come what's from? What's the point? Those, right, all those yeah. things. Um, and then, I don't know if this is different for everyone, but I started and I was just a camel. So I'm in the middle of the desert and I'm a camel. And you go to move. Yeah. And <laughs> you move by... When you, so imagine a yeah, camel I, I, I standing. It, yep. It's like right. you right-click and go to rotate 90 degrees, yeah. the whole image, and that's it. You just yeah. keep rotating. <laughs> you just on an axis. It, it only... Yes. Yeah, there's no character model movement. No. The, uh, well, yeah. They just the whole, move the whole model for you. Limbs aren't animating. The, the whole model just rotates 90 degrees at a time. So I'm just flipping through the desert as this fucking camel. <laughs> and then it's like, hey, you found other camels. You can sing to them. I was like, all right, I'll sing to them. I sang to some camels, and they sang back. And then you can press another button, ask them to join you. So then you got two camels floating through the desert. Eventually you get 10, 12 camels all floating through the desert. Not um, floating, ninety degree angle, like ninety rotating. degree rotating, yeah, flipping. And you get to a point where you can descend. So the the descend thing, this is where the game really starts to introduce the unique mechanic. Um, you basically, or not introduce it, but like the descend thing is where the, that's what the game is: is you experiencing life as it's seen and 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 lived through everything. Um, you you go from the camel. The next thing I went to was uh, like a, an aloe plant or something in the middle of the desert. So then I'm a plant and I sing to other plants. You do all the same things that the animals do, but now right. you're doing it as a plant. You do that until you go down to a smaller plant, to a smaller plant, to the, to the ants. I think I was an ant next. And then I was the like flea or the mite that was flying in the air in the dust at nearby and then i become the dust and then i become mm -hmm. the atom and then i become the nuclear like you're you're all the way down to a molecular level until the point where i hit like i was just a, a thing i don't know and and i was like i it what did it say that i was i i became i became a shape i think is what it called me uh and then i was just living in this weird ethereal Jeez. plane of existence uh singing to other shapes and things and you just kind of get lost for a while um and and this is the part where like when you're this thing you're just being you're just whatever um if you had walked by and just looked at my computer you'd be like oh you're he's in space but i'm not in space i'm like way deep inside you know you know what i mean subatomic levels yeah uh, but then as you're going through, that's where tying back to that original trailer, you're finding little blips and you move toward the blip. And when you click on the blip, it plays like a minute piece of narration from Alan Watts's. Okay. So right? that part does happen. So it kind of ties back into his, uh, lectures. Single player. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I haven't seen any multiplayer. I just didn't know if it was like a journey thing where like you find other people flip, like flipping around and <laughs> I don't think, I don't know. Um, <laughs> But that's been the cool part because, like, I don't know, Alan Watts is a pretty fascinating dude. Had some pretty fascinating thoughts um, to kind of hear them playing out and talking about why we exist and how we exist and what we exist for and do we really exist at all and are we all one and the same? Like, all, all of those weird ideas it's... and things to be tied in and kind of put with this as a backdrop. Um, you know, there, there's something that, like, if it had been some dumb 
fucking art film, it probably would have been just a dumb fucking art film. But the fact that it's an interactive experience makes it a little bit more tangible and a little bit more close to like a little yeah. interpersonal. Yeah, like you're 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 connected to it in a different way than you would be had it just been a fucking you know a a, a link that you click on. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I I only I played for about an hour. I, I have not seen all that everything has to offer, but I this week. I feel like that is something Frog Fractions would do. <laughs> Hide everything inside of it. Yeah, just yeah. yeah, and like here you go. Yeah, <laughs> and just have. What if Frog Fraction Three is inside of that game? <laughs> that I would, that would be fucked up. Get to find the frog. That's and... yeah. <laughs> You, yeah, yeah, you find the frog. But you can't go, go into outer space. Because you can be a planet, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, yeah. So you can descend, <laughs> but just as much as you can descend, you can ascend. So I think before I wrapped up my play session, I did ascend back out of the subatomic and get back to Camel. Dude, you were Ant-Man for a second. Yeah, I, yeah that it, it plays with <laughs> a lot of those themes. Um, and then, yeah, eventually you go big enough to, I assume, take over the... the mountains and the world and space or host a frog fractions trial mm -hmm. but yeah it'll happen it's coming um i need to get that yeah this game's good i'll pay full price i don't give a shit yeah I this is it's on uh it's on <laughs> say it's on everything it's on <laughs> it's on multiple platforms but i just happen to get it through that humble bundle so um, i'm glad because that was on my short list for I can't believe I overlooked that. stuff i gotta get through for game of the year yeah that's this year too yeah sorry uh, yeah, that was one definitely. Like when you sent it to me and I watched that, like trailer alone kind of fucked me up for a little bit, and I was like, I'm I'm not gonna dive right into this one. <laughs> I love the baby. my mental uh, <laughs> capacities at the brink. It was like a 13 minute video or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just like you know that that's one of those games you hang out near too many trucks in New York, like <laughs> shit gets <laughs> fucked up. Um, Dang. Yeah, it's good and. I like it. Um, Glad you did. Yeah. You guys want to talk about some news? I'm sorry. Did you say nudes? <sighs> like noodles? That Those are the ones. I'm all about them nudes. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do a little bit of news. You guys heard of Nintendo? Uh, it's unfortunately, a, like, sometimes. My dad barely talks about it. Oh, yeah. Well, my uncle. Good day. I think he works there. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, wow. um, my uncle works for Nintendo. Uh, no, Nintendo had its earnings call. A um, lot of information came out in there. I, I think I don't remember. I think we were in New York. Yeah, we were. We were in New York and we we're in the hotel room in the bed. And it was very much. <clears throat> have you seen that meme where it's the uh, guy and the girl laying in bed? Mm, and maybe, uh, maybe. he's looking at his phone, and there's a thought bubble above her head that's like, he's probably looking at porn. And it's always the meme is always like something uh -oh. different. It was very much that moment, except it wasn't that moment. But Katie was like, I was like smiling to myself. She's like, What? What do you got? You got? She was looking for memes, right? She's like, What do you got? You got? Any, you're hiding memes on your phone? I was like, No, I'm not hiding memes. <laughs> and I was like, I'm just happy. And she's like, What are you looking at? And I was like, Nintendo's financial reports. Had the whole fucking PDF. Then I slept up. on the floor. <laughs> and then she's like, "You got any family from bank memes?" Where's this? <laughs> um, I think the big thing that, that came out of that was the projection for what was going to what Nintendo Switch will hit, um, and by spring, which is that it'll exceed we use life to date sales. It's what a prediction? And one. Oh, that was your one. Was one of your things. That was more like, I said half. Jesus. One point in the board yeah. in January. <sighs> I don't know, man. But like, are we surprised? We're not, but that's sad. <laughs> yeah. That's really sad. It's not. I retweeted. I deserved it. I retweeted someone from eight four, um, who said, "If you can't handle me at my at my Wii U." You, you shouldn't have me at my, or you don't deserve me at my switch. <laughs> Sarah Podzorski is very good. Um, yeah, a couple of interesting things came out from that. They they talked a little bit about sales figures. Super Mario Odyssey hit two million units sold through. Um, 
Which yeah, I was... in in two days, which was that's the wild part. Yeah, and that's right. both just overall, just physical and digital, and I think so. Yeah. Um, it, it was good. That's like, I mean, like I would say it's crazy, but um, again, I'm like I'm not like th- this is what I expected. Right. Yeah, and and it and it's good. Yeah, I, like, it's, this it's is a good expectation. Yeah. Thankfully, that's where we're at. Nintendo has life support. I'm making that money. <laughs> oh right, I forgot your fucking Star Wars. Yeah. I'm a share. I'm a share. Uh, shareholder, as yeah. we say. Uh, yeah. So this, these earnings calls are very important to me nowadays. <laughs> um, I'm very happy to report I'm making money off of this company. You uh, also put money due into to my it. overwhelming support, uh, obviously. Um, <laughs> but yes, um, I want. I want to thank Reggie. I want to thank. Oh. Um, I actually don't even know the other executives, but. I just, you know, I just want to thank Reggie once again yeah. for, you know, um, making me money. And I appreciate that. Uh, who else do you want to thank? Reggie. Oh, okay. Um, nah. Uh, actually, you know what? You, Joe. I oh, do want to yeah. thank you for, you know, I wasn't being, fishing for that. I'm... Being the dummy you are that keeps buying the Amiibo that my company that I partially own. Your company. I oh, partially I own. I fucking hate it. Um, you know, as much as I don't like buying them, um, the the company I partially own, uh, I you know we've come to an executive decision with the the um, the director, uh, the board of directors, uh, continue to sell an Amiibo mm-hmm. at a dumb price mm-hmm. and making bank. And for that, I thank you. Hmm. You feel good? Oh, I feel really good. The E Trade account is looking real good. Jesus might reinvest what do you mean reinvest no like off the dividends i'm making from nintendo reinvest oh buy more maybe dive into sony jim ryan's got an announcement i'm sure it's gonna turn the stock around oh god damn it all right we we, you want to jump there you want to jump to a little paris games week conversation before paris games week yeah one more thing rocket league has a release date oh my god yeah was it November 14th? November 14th. Date? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's not too far away now. I'll be in Nashville, unfortunately, so I won't be there day one to kick ass on a new platform. But You got a hot spot, dude. I do have a hot spot. Yeah. I do feel like I have to point out something with that, too. Not the Rocket League, but just while we're on the Switch before we switch yeah. off of it. Uh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there, well, welcome back, um, Mark. That's it. <laughs> Thanks. No, uh, they showed a little image of a couple games. Oh yeah, and I right. don't know why they did this. I don't know what was their what was their angle here. I don't know if this was just for Japan or for or, or what. But right in the center, mm. smack dab in the middle, mm. it's a little game called Fantasy Star Online Two. It's very true. But underneath of it, it said Cloud. So Cloud, what does that mean? I I don't know if it's like, hey, you can transfer your character over to here. Mm-mm. If you're playing on PC or something, I doubt because whoever's playing on PS4, I'm sorry, but you're probably screwed. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know what that means, but I'm very intrigued. I feel like we're still not going to get an American version, but for a little bit, I was running off of your region free chant. So yeah, your region free means fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I was on board with that. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> I was on board with the fantasy. But that, I don't would, know about that, that would mother be awesome, three though. nonsense. Like, but having like that local play with that, doing like four player, like playing around with that, like I think it could work. But I don't know. I don't know what that would entitle. I don't know what kind of. I don't know. Like my mind's going too far with it than what it needs to be. I, I feel like it's just like dreaming at this point, wishful thinking. I think it's a good. Um... But boy, is that a tease? Because I thought, I thought that game was dead. And. Maybe they're maybe they'll do something like uh, how Fantasy Star came from Dreamcast to GameCube. Maybe this is something like that. Wishful thinking. But we'll see what happens in January. I mean, even if it's <laughs> yeah, even if it's um, just Japan only. I mean, you could just make a Japanese account and play that shit. Yeah, but I did that once already. Well, I didn't make a Japanese account. Well, no, I kind of did. I had to I had to go through Japanese websites and translate and know what to click on to sign up. But yeah. But that picture too, but like all the different games coming. Can I say like I forgot about Payday too? <laughs> yeah, I know. I just like, thought about that the other day. Remember when back that that um, 
direct where like i was that was the biggest thing in the world to me and yeah. now like just all this third party support that's kind of come around yeah including but not limited to uh to doom that's right around the corner for us and wolfenstein i think early next year like it's it's crazy that i forgot about payday and i actually kind of still excited for payday yeah switch yeah it'd be yeah it'd be and on much. that like the first image in the corner when they first teased like a shin megami game being made nobody knew what it was going to be people right. thought it was going to be like a remake or something the very first one that's the fifth one now oh, and God. they showed a trailer and it's pretty gruesome yeah and that's switch exclusive i think it might be wow i don't know, I don't know if it is or not but i think it might be yeah because yeah, didn't we you get that um one crossover with fire emblem yeah the Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Yeah. Sharp F E. I still kind of want to try that. <laughs> I need to. A little bit. I think it, someone told me if you like Persona, then you'd like that. But also, if you, I don't know. I don't know. Paris Games Week. PlayStation talked about a couple of things. It's funny. I was uh, getting on the bus to New York, and Ben's texting all of us mm-hmm. in our group I chat. I completely forgot about it. I, I did too. too. I, I knew I was yeah. working. That's why I forgot. And and Ben's like, yo, there's stuff. And then like he was kind of like, eh, I don't know, or not 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 that much. And he was like, well, that's it. Yeah, like, that I was, really th- I thought that was it. Yeah, it was I was like, watching it. I was like, all right, yeah, well, that's over. And then yeah. I was like, oh, okay. And then I looked and was like, oh no, shit, it's just starting. That was the pre-show. So during the pre-show for Paris Games Week, uh, PlayStation. I'm just gonna read through some titles here, and we can comment as we see fit. Guacamelee Two. Awesome. Cool. Right? I love the first game. Yeah. It's fucking no, dope. Still need to play it. Uh, the Hong Kong Massacre. I forget. I Some of us. What that is. I was ta- uh, it was a podcast I was, I was talking about it. I don't remember what that is, though. Uh, it looks top down, hotline ish. But, like. I, right. I, I, I probably missed this part when I was trying to watch the stream. Yeah. I mean, that's just a screenshot. Okay. Like yeah. I heard somebody else talk about it, and they were like, yeah, it's like some like hotline ish vibes. Um, the Gardens Between. It's like a two D adventurish puzzly thing. Yeah, I think I missed that too. Uh, Loco Roco Two Remastered, which means Why? because Patapon Four. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> what? I what are we talking about? Uh, I don't know. Maybe that first one sold pretty well, or maybe it wasn't that hard to do that one. So they, you know. I'd be down for Patapon 2 HD. Don't I look? I'm or not a complaining. New Parappa that I'd, actually kind of works. I'm not complaining about any of this. The more they want to do this, the more they want to like bring out that weird shit from Studio Japan. Mm-hmm. Fucking do it. Tennis World Tour. What up, tennis boy? I'm. I'm. This actually sounds pretty good. Cause these these are by the people by the top spin people. Yeah. I missed the fuck out of a tennis game right now. When's the last time you played a tennis game? Uh, uh, early PS3. Matthew, Mar- Mario. Matthew Broderick's Tennis 2019. No, it was a top spin game. Probably. Mario Tennis. No, it wasn't no. top spin. Yeah. NES Tennis in Animal Crossing on GameCube. My you know boy. what? No lie. The last like <laughs> legit legitimate uh, tennis game I played was probably that uh, one on Wii. Yeah. Grand Slam Tennis or whatever. Oh, I thought you meant like the Wii it was the one, one that had the licenses and stuff with it. You had to use the pro controller. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Plays Tiger Woods. <laughs> uh, Megalith, the VR game. I don't um, remember. This. I can't remember most of these. Like if I saw it, yeah. maybe. But... Uh, Bow to Blood, Sims Four. No, that's nothing new, really. Well, uh, is, is that coming? To, that's coming to console. Though. That's new, isn't it? Itself. Oh, I guess they've always done that, though. And eventually. Star yeah. Child, another VR game. Okay. Uh, Resident Evil 7, not a hero DLC. Yeah, a lot of the VR stuff they did before yes. all these other games. Yeah. Dead Hungry, I think it's another VR game. Stifled, League of War, Monster of the Deep, Final Fantasy 15, Final Fantasy 15 Ignis DLC. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, here's here's the thing. Then we, uh, we're about to close out the show and we get Or? Or A. Ore? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about Ore. Uh, you're basically this kid who can turn into a dragon. And you go around uh, like a passive shadow to Colossus. Um, you're trying to like fix 
something with a town or a world and to save it energy some, something to do with energy i think and mm. you go on these creatures and like help them somehow like you're not killing anything but you're just help like saving them i guess mm-hmm. that's pretty much all i got from it it looks like a journey abzu type ish game the way it looks visually that's and, cool. yeah and then that was the end of the pre-show nothing else happened no other big things at the pre-show at all or <laughs> I knew. I knew. Yeah, I'd be confused I, for I, a no, second because I, I, I didn't watch it. I didn't know if it was on what side it was on. Or the biggest game announcement in game history. Hold on. Pa- pa- before he said the next thing, pause for a second. These it's are facts. Not, Matt. This is Matt. big, but it's not that big. It this has a pug. Big. You can't argue with him. <laughs> See? Wait till gotcha Mother there. 3 comes along. Remember you said this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, that, that's true, but that hasn't been announced yet. I'm so. just, I'll remember this moment. Remember the first episode in November. <laughs> so, look, this is the biggest video game announcement so far. Look, Spelunky was literally gone to November. And now it's here. Spelunky 2, uh, coming 2018? Did, did they put a date on it, or they just... Ooh, I, don't even, I don't even know. I can't remember. That's I don't know. My ben bad. saw that. I didn't see it. Um, Really fucking weird, man. Uh, I was surprised by this because well, he's no, working think... on that other game, right? Yeah, yeah he's yeah. doing UFO Fifty, which looks really fucking good. Weird. It looks really weird. Well, but like, he did his part. More than likely, but like to be working on that. I mean, it makes sense because honestly, Spelunky was out on XBLA in twenty thirteen. Plus, he has an engine for it. No, it was prior to that. I mean, it was earlier right. than that, and then yeah, um, it was brought to PS. Four and Vita in 2013 or 14. I think you can go to space. That's what it seems to be so insinuated. That's an odd form of Spelunky. But they also show. It seems like Mr. Spelunky is passing the reins off to his daughter. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, that, that, I don't know. Very, very, like, no gameplay shown, no anything, but uh, coming to PS4 and PC first. The one sad thing about that, a little selfish, I really want fucking Spelunky on my Switch. Yeah. Like, I started playing a little Spelunky this week again, and just... It'll probably happen. I fucking hope so. Uh, and then, uh, another big one, the final thing to close out the pre-show, uh, which seemed weird to show at the pre-show and nowhere else, right? Or was this at the actual... I don't know. It depends what you're going to say. Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, that was the very beginning of it was after very the pre-show. Beginning. All right. That was the first game they showed. I was on a bus, so I yeah, I got That one. was pretty cool. Yeah, so this is Sucker Punch's new game. Ghost of Tsushima. Um, samurai-ass samurai game. Dude, it's like Tenchu slash Onimusha. Yeah. Pretty cool. Haven't had one of those games in a while. I actually it, did not watch the trailer for this because I don't know if I care yet. It's a weird thing. Like, I was... I've been dying for Sucker Punch's new game. Like, what the fuck mm-hmm. are they doing? And then... Here you are. This looks like a weird, like, some stealth, some action going on. Like, kind of realistic, but there's some supernatural shit going the on. The character models are, like... They're impressive. Stupid. Like, <laughs> do you remember how Second Son looked when you were like, you can do that with video games? And it, this is, like... I don't know. I'm I'm thinking and saying all those things all over again. The villain was like, pretty cool too. It gave me like a for some reason like I'm not too familiar with the series, I guess, but like it gave me like a Metal Gear vibe. Well, this is a brand new. The way the villain was like monologuing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it like the fat guy. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, I know, I know who you are. Yeah, I mean, I know what villages to save and which ones just, to destroy. <laughs> I know it, the language you speak. It looks so. I mean, it looks pretty, but like, what what part of CG? What's in engine? I think most of it was CG. I no, think, dude, they do a lot of shit. But in I engine. think after they showed the title, it was like a little bit of. It looked like it would be gameplay. Yeah, there they, wasn't there they, wasn't any like HUDs or yeah. UI whatever. Um, I'm curious to see that one develop. Uh, see what comes out of that. Yeah, a concrete genie. Uh, you're a little boy. Some graffiti on the wall. Trademark. Running through. Yeah. Okay. Looks cool. Looks like a fun... It looks like a... You paint, yeah, you paint monsters on the walls, and they interact with you, and they help you solve puzzles. It reminded me of um, Rain. Second son, no. <laughs> yeah. You remember yeah. Rain? It was a Studio Japan PS3 
R A I N, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I never played it. I don't it was know like what showing off at like a Gamescom year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It like mm-hmm. slipped out. Um, it looks like that, but like with a little bit of a brother's tale of two sons kind of. Yeah, thing. kind of has that vibe because you're, you're like your enemies are bullies. Like you're yeah. like getting picked on, and monsters are your friends. Uh, we got Erica, a PlayLink game. Oh, is this the FMV? Is that what it was? I, I kept losing service, so it, I, it, yeah. It, it, if I'm correct, I think it kind of reminded me of her story in a sense. Yeah, that makes sense. That checks I, I didn't see much of that one either. Yeah. Uh, we got a little bit of a PlayStation VR sizzle trailer, uh, and then we saw another VR game, Blood and Truth, with a dude that looks like he's screaming. Um, I can't remember. This sucks. You're, this sucks. This I can't remember. Blood and Truth is like a it's a it's a shooter, mm-hmm. and you're crawling through vents and yeah, it looks like a little stealth action kind of James Bondy, hmm. very like Splinter Cell, James Bond, 007. I know VR seems kind of like gimmicky right now because since we're so early in this, and I'm not sure if it'll go anywhere. But I do like in a way that they still keep making games for it. Like it's not dead yet. Yeah, they haven't given up. This, I mean, no. this one looks pretty good visually. Like, I don't know. It's so weird. It's it's. I feel like it's that like VR games and 3DS games to me seem like the hardest things to sell as a video. Right. 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 Yeah. Because the frame rate is completely different for 3DS, and you can't yeah. capture that for some reason. Yeah. And then and the VR, resolution too. Yeah, and like VR is not the same unless you're wearing it. Yeah. It's just it's yeah. a, it's a huge difference. So it's, I don't know, but I love it. We got a little Far Cry 5 co-op trailer. We got the first expansion to Destiny 2. Oh, yeah. Uh, Pretty much everything that was leaked. Yeah. <laughs> Curse of Osiris. Um, you December. are December. You're fighting the Vex or, yeah, shit's going bad. Uh, Monster Hunter World showed off again. I'm curious. Yeah. I might give it another shot. I don't know. I got burned by the 3DS one, so. Stay burned. Call of Duty World War II on Rush. Who is excited? For World War II? Well, it's now already it out. out. It's already out. Not excited. Still not excited. Still not excited now with all yeah. the new Twitch gameplay and gameplay. Right? No. And no. YouTube, but you know. Did you the... buy it? No. I <laughs> 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 just wanted to let that linger there. Uh, yeah. You, you let it linger too long. Nope. On Rush, which is a new racing game by the MotorStorm people. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which is weird because I haven't heard from them in a while. Well, they became the they they stopped doing MotorStorm and made Drive Club. Drive Club. Which as that's evolution a horror story that is uh <laughs> apparently it's fine now, but just bad start. It, but right? it got delayed that whole year. Or am I get, wait, wait. I might be getting that mixed with the crew. What am, am I getting that confused? I think even Drive Club, it, it, it ended up being serviceable. But yeah. the, wasn't evo- they, were, they were evolution and then they got shut down, mm-hmm. right? So who is Codemasters? It's just people who used to work on that and made a new team? Codemasters so. makes the um, – don't a, they make the Formula One games? Mm. That, that, that has like a super niche ar- audience, but I believe they make the Formula One games, which are actually some pretty interesting sim games. Uh, this is the right team. Um, yeah, yeah they, they, they got some deep stuff in that series uh, that goes well above my head. I hmm. don't watch Formula One racing at all, but it definitely, if you're into that, you got a game there. Yeah, I think it's definitely I, not half assed. I think Codemasters like acquired some of those people and just like made another team interesting do that whoever worked on those games before whatever yeah, yeah code so masters has a long history of of games like a lot of different variety of games but yeah they did do a lot of the they did grid two okay yeah oh, all right. that was their arcade and, and, and one. dirt, right? dirt yeah. three yeah the dirt they did uh the colin mcrae rally games and the f1 games um my, my brother loved the f1 games is it those F one games have some traction in that community? That like the F okay F one games. That's where I would want that whole setup in your bedroom where you have the steering wheel, the pedals, and playing in first person. Like, that's cool. 
Yeah, so uh, Evolution shut down in March 2016. Uh, Codemasters announced it had hired former Evolution Studio staff to create a new studio, cool. and they formed. Uh, they're they're the ones making Onrush, so that's cool. Thanks, Codemasters. Project is being led by Paul Rachinsky, who directed the team's previous game, Drive Club. And it is motor store games I kind of liked. Yeah, the they were good. I played. It was just mm-hmm. that last one had unfortunate timing because it got delayed due to the weird tsunami that yeah, happened. Yeah. It was Apocalypse, I think. It got delayed. Yeah. Because of uh, the... That's fucked up. Yep. And then that led to bad sales. And then they made Drive Club, and we all know the horror story there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a Star Wars game coming out. Amy Hennings? Yeah. <laughs> Battlefront 2, so we saw some more of that. Uh, another trailer for Spider-Man. Marvel's Spider-Man. Got to see Peter Parker. We got to see Peter Parker. He and said Miles official, Morales. Yeah, and officially yeah. Miles Morales. Did they show him? I Yeah. They it was, him. Yeah, he's like, oh, that's my friend Miles, like, literally. Yeah, yeah. Talking to Aunt May, I'm assuming, right? Cool. Uh, maybe. He walked into the house with, uh, with Miles. So. I thought it was Mary, but I don't know. Maybe. Uh, uh, this next one. Detroit, Become Human, got a new trailer. Gotta say, first time I'm kind of interested now. Same. Because before, it just wasn't selling it for me for some reason. You're still... I, I, like... You are behind. Hop yeah. on. Yeah, I know. Hop I on know. the train, guys. I, dude, it was, I, just, it was just something... Like, the way they present their sci-fi to me just seemed too, like, clean. I don't know how to describe it. And I still want to see how this game fucking plays. Because if it plays, like... Well, you'll I, see me play it. Don't uh, worry. Fine, I'll but, let you play it. That was a good trailer. But they brought back Kara, which is interesting. We had not seen Kara since the tech demo. Since that tech demo back in twenty twelve. A while ago. It was like some dude before, right? Yeah, yeah. We kinda saw a dude. Well that know. game it's 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 about I, like that Android like yeah, because I didn't think there was a main character. I thought it was just, like, multiple stories Yeah, I think it's going to have, like, a heavy rain effect where the, there's a central theme, but the different characters have their different plot lines. And sure. I'm sure they'll all weave and kind of go across each other at some point. But, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I'll still, I'll still try it. I mean. uh, but this showed how one scenario in particular could drastically change um, in multiple ways. Like, it wasn't just – I mean, he's he, – to his credit, David Cage is getting – Closer to his dream of simulating reality where, you know, if I scratch my face now versus if I do it now, you know, I just killed two people. You know, like like the the heavy content of like what that trailer showed, um, that wasn't even the part that got me like excited to like because like I'm not the person that kind of dive into those deep themes and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But like it's it's going to be interesting to play that stuff. It was when it kind of zoomed out from the frame and it showed all these different frames and it was like the actual branch of yeah. what you could happen in, in like... They had shown that before though. A similar graphic. Yeah, but you like you keep yeah, seeing it, you yeah, keep reinforcing the idea and I like the fact that... Um, I always credit Greg Miller was saying this with the Telltale games. Like you're... You always get to the same end point but you're... The way you color in the coloring book is, mm. is different person to person right, even yeah. though like the lines are still the same. Yeah. With this game, it doesn't seem like you have that Not outlined point. coloring point. You're gonna have that like it's it, like a cho- it's like literally like a choose your own adventure book where like you your ending may go to thirty page thirty four as opposed to like my ending might go to page six or whatever. The only yeah. thing I might find overwhelming about that is how many times do I have to play this to see everything? Do you want to see everything though? That was my thing with kind any of. of those games is like, and I think but I think you can, but I think also like. I don't know. Like when I played through Walking Dead for the first time, like I didn't go back and play it again. Like fuck Duck, I wanted him to die. That was right. my story, and I'm sticking to. I it. mean, that's inevitable. You can't save him. Damn! Even after the whole like beginning of that episode, when he's like, "No, I mean, you're awesome." No, it doesn't matter. No, though. that's the thing. Duck was a little fucker. Because I, after I played it all, I went back because I played on a different system, and I was like, "I wonder if I can try to save him." And no, you can't. And that happens a couple times where you think you can save him, and you can't. I'm like, "All right, that's fine." I don't. Like in games, I'm not sad but... about that at all. Yeah, <laughs> watered down a duck's back, as they say. Yeah, I'll never be sad. <laughs> God of War. It's God I of didn't War. Watch it. Yep. I mean, I watched I a bit, to. but like, don't need it, to. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I think you, I'm ready to play it. Did you see the God of War trailer at E3? Yeah. Cool. You. I you figured. Go. All right, that's fine. Shadow of the Colossus remastered. Did that get a date? I think I got a date. I don't know it though. Ooh. Um, I think it's a forty dollars game though. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, they did show more gameplay. 
just straight up just take it down a Colossus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they didn't show gameplay before. So that looks. I like it. I hope they. I hope they do the same treatment with Eco. It's just so weird because they already did that HD remaster, and now they're like, and but like it's only like, available for like PlayStation Now or like PS3. What? Eco the HD remaster. Oh, yeah. oh Eco oh, Shadow yeah, Colossus yeah. bundle. That's a oh, PS3 oh. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't play it on PS4. It's my oh, point. Oh well, no, but so, you have a PS3. Like, but you yeah, still, yeah, but but I want the trifecta. On PS4. Uh, yeah, Last Guardian had the other two. And, yeah. yeah. Um. Then we had uh, The Last of Us Part Two. So uh, everybody's Dude. favorite friend Jim Ryan came on stage. <laughs> said, uh, let's "Take a look at uh, some gameplay from a highly anticipated title." Wait, did he really say gameplay? Maybe not. I'm. I'm All right, okay. You paraphrasing. Okay. So, <laughs> listeners, listeners, I'm gonna well, I'm gonna break the fourth wall real quick. Clocks changed. It feels like it's one o'clock in the morning right now. It's not. It's like ten p.m. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <But it's, laughs> I am like, Bleh. um. Anyway, yeah, he, he came up, showed off uh, this trailer, and as the trailer started playing, I was, I was. And I blame Ben for this partially, but I was like, <laughs> I was expecting it. So maybe this is what I'm working on, or maybe this is whatever Frum's working on. And maybe, right. Don't, don't, <laughs> it would have been a good time to do it. Right. Right at the end, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, holy shit. Like that's, that's the way you fucking do whatever. And as the, the trailer starts and like the camera is, it's a rainy night and there's a fire going and you're looking at treetops, like kind of scaling mm-hmm. away. And I was like, dude, I could see this being some weird ass, like fucking fucked up, weird bloodborne in the woods thing. Like, okay, let's. Yeah. And then like it was modern day people. And I was like, all right, from y'all are getting right. weird. Let's now, do this. At that point, you see the two people dragging a person yeah. right there. I switched from from to uh, was that Joel and Ellie dragging somebody. I and then from there I was like, wait a minute, is this Tomb Raider? I like I did not know what the expect. I didn't go was. Tomb Raider. I yeah. did go. Oh wait, is that Joel and Ellie? And then I went, no. Nope. Oh was- fuck, is this Days Gone? And then, <laughs> and I was like so upset. And then I sat there looking, and I was like, is it- no, the game doesn't look. No, it, looks too <laughs> it looks too good to be yeah. Days Gone. And then they spun around. I was like, oh shit, that's Joel. And, and I was not Joel. What no. the fuck's happening? And then like. I'm like, all right, hold on. This, what is who? Yeah, and I'm like, like, is this? It's like, it, is that Ellie? I was like, is that? Is this Sucker Punch's game? And they're showing more of that thing, but it, wh- where's the same? What? The f- Wait, uh, hold on. Does, does this game jump thirty years? Like, right. I don't know who this woman is. So, I'm assuming you're listening. You've seen this because it's only the <laughs> biggest thing that's happened. No, um. I've seen a couple of the fan theories pop up, and they seem to stack up with a lot of what has been pieced out there or trickled out there. Um, that woman, old... Uh, I think I heard this rumor, too. You know, or theory the, the one who... Large. Yeah, everyone's obsessed with her arms. Yeah. Um, the theory is that she is Ellie's mom. Yeah, that's the, that's what I've heard. Did you hear that one, too? Yeah. yeah. I, you know, it makes sense, because yeah. they tried to cut her belly, right, where you'd have a child... Um, there's a poster that, uh, Naughty Dog put out on Outbreak, out, Outbreak, Outbreak Day this year, um, just to celebrate their, you mm. know, whatever. Um, the poster that they put out had a similar fist to that woman and it was confirmed that that is Ellie's mom and that thing or something like, I don't know, there's, the internet is doing its job of being the internet and figuring this shit out. It seems to be that that is Ellie's mom. If that's the case, God, that's going to be horrible. Yeah. That's going to be like a Joel versus Ellie's mom thing, probably. It's not, I mean, it's not going to be good. No, it, no, shit's going <sighs> to... I haven't even played these games, and I'm already feeling like the tension yeah. from it. Yeah. Oof. But that... Yet, play these games yet. The shit that they were able to do with that engine. Like, playing the little bit of Lost Legacy that I did, I was already fucking blown away. Like... I think I mentioned it, like the the way that like Chloe's hair sticks to her forehead in a way that looks so much like real hair sticking to a sweaty forehead, and then seeing this game, it was just like Square's got competition. Yeah, I mean, in, like, in, in the hair department. Yeah, <laughs> like, trust affects my ass. Yeah. Like trademark hair. <laughs> I mean, th- this is just like 
so impressive. Um, yeah, it was. It was pretty good. I don't know when the hell that game comes out. I don't know what that even means, or, or I don't know, but fuck. Can I say the more I think about it, I don't like that trailer. You didn't like it. I can see why, why do you, I need to know that. That's true. I can see why you would. Why do I need to know that? It has no relevance. Why do I even need a trailer that shows yeah. me absolutely nothing? We know what that world's like. We've played through the. We've seen some dark shit in that first game. I think it's for this reason right now. Like they want people to talk about it. Mm-hmm. I I didn't need that. Yeah. If you want to show me Ellie playing more guitar and being sad about shit that's happened because all the shit they went through in the first game, like that's fine. Yeah. Like I, I like surprise me with Ellie's mom or even that might not even be her, but like, you know we're all speculating like. Yeah. I don't know. I just I didn't need that. Yeah. I, I did not get anything out of it. We we know that franchise is brutal as fuck. Yeah. We know it's gonna look pretty. Naughty it, Dog has a reputation for that. Like I got nothing out of that that I wanted. It also feels a bit spoiling in a sense. Yeah, exactly. You know? like, so when you do play the game, that part's probably less impactful if they even show that part. I mean, like one of the best things about the first game, and I'm, I won't spoil it here, is the first hour because no one knew the first a- not even the first hour, like the first thirty minutes of that game. That's pretty much all I played so far. Yeah. Besides, like, well, yeah, no, like, I played a little further than that, but yeah. so like you saw it then, like, oh yeah, no, yeah. no one knew, like. You're not even playing as Ellie. You're playing as uh, Sarah, right? Sarah. Joel. And, oh, Carr. the very beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah Like yeah. the first, like, no one knew that was gonna Such happen. A, that's a good introduction. And like, you're playing as her, and you're like, this, this isn't adding up. This, you know, something. No, this isn't gonna end well. Nope. And then it ends. She's not and the girl on like, the cover. What is? Oh. And then you're just like. <laughs> Oh my god, that yeah. we're, here we go. All right, that's 20 that, minutes in. Here we go. This is what I'm playing. Like, holy shit. Yeah, Ugh. that's one of those moments where you got to read the title of the game again and let that title sink in. And, like, oh, yeah, oh. yeah. Because we, we just read it, like, all right, that's the name of the game. Yep. And then the other thing with this is, like, <laughs> it's called part two. And I, and I, you know, you can go back to PSX when they revealed this. And I love the fact yeah. that you were like, all right, part two, we got a sequel following up right from the last game this is like a I mean, we're doing some weird stuff a prequel like i did not need this yeah I didn't I need this. wait wait but trust them wait right you like think, that's the yeah way. yeah like, I, do you I, think what they showed was a prequel well if this is like ellie's mom yeah. and she was carrying ellie did they show her dying in the first one no, no. well no so you really really it's not even spoiled like you really don't even know anything about ellie's mom. right but i'm saying that like so it could not be. But, yeah, but, like, we assume – I mean, of course, we're speculating here that it is her mom, but, like yeah. – I mean, you'd have more insight why, than Why are I you do, showing, so. like, a flashback when, like, some of the best moments of the Uncharted games and the Last of Us games are the parts that are unexpected? Like, that part in Uncharted 3 when he heard young Nathan Drake in Chapter 2. Yeah. Like, no one saw that coming. That was one of the best moments of that game. Like, yeah. seeing him meet Sully for the first time and trying to pickpocket Sully. Like, it was great yeah. character building. Mm-hmm. Because it was unexpected, and you're just in the moment, and like I don't know, like I now I'm expecting Ellie's mom, like all yeah. of a sudden now. Yeah, because weird. Yeah, because when I watched it, yeah, like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get that idea. I just thought it was just current time in that world, and which she, yeah, it still and, could be, kind of could be, you know and, and I mean? like, she she kind of pulled like a um, uh, what's her face Terminator. Sarah, Sarah Connor. Connor. Sarah Connor. Yeah. Like Terminator yeah, 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 Two. Yeah, yeah, Sarah yeah. Connor. Like this is what I pretty much got from that. But then, all right, so. <laughs> Like let's just say that it is current times. What did that do for us? Just no, build, exactly. Build yeah, on the yeah. world that we knew is already fucked up. Like it did yeah. nothing for us. Yeah, I I guess if people thought she was dead, like oh shit, she's not dead. What could that mean? And would they ever meet? Would like I don't know. And that's yeah. why like when I watched it that that day, <laughs> who's gonna kill? Because I was like, <laughs> it was the Last of Us. I knew I knew it was a trailer. Like it didn't get spoiled for me, or like it it got spoiled, but like I didn't care that much because I yeah, was yeah, gonna yeah. watch it. I watched mm-hmm. it, and I immediately texted you guys like I just go away. Go yeah, away, yeah, let it bake, just... show me gameplay, and then release it six months later. Yeah. And then next week, really Death Stranding. Like, <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah. In the year 2021, when this all happens, like, come on. I, go away. I, I can see that. Yeah. It was... Th- that's one of those games where you just you want to be kept in the dark. Yeah, yeah, like I, you want like, you want you want media blackout. I mean, this. I mean, I'm just that way anyway. I mean, and I'm curious. I'm gonna follow this. I'm gonna see what you know what their marketing is because sometimes marketing is pretty cool. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I just I I don't, I didn't get anything out of this. I mean, yeah, I it got me like, oh yeah, Last of Us Two is coming. It's coming. Mm-hmm. It's cool. Not anytime soon. No, yeah. no year. Nothing. Now they put up like a year on that. 
at the end of it. All right, all right. I got something out of it. Yeah, there's a piece. But I got like nothing. Yeah, yeah. that's something they we probably shouldn't. This is I could smell the cookies, but man, I just Courage. want to fucking eat one. But now, like now, it's like one of those things. Like, why don't they show the PSX? Why do I watch PSX now? Girl, you kidding? Let me tell you. You ready? PSX. Here we go. Pat upon four. <laughs> You're dreaming. Vita. Two. We're dreaming. We're not in a year of dreams anymore. PlayStation I think this this one, conference and the E three showed it. PlayStation One classics on PS four. They have to show more Final Fantasy Seven. Final Fantasy Seven remake. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about the game. That that you're not so seeing. did so did Square. So that's gonna be <laughs> one hell of November when you got The Last of Us Part Two, Death Stranding, and Final Fantasy Seven Part One. <laughs> Change your name on PSN. It's all coming. If I, I've been waiting for that announcement for two and a half years. PlayStation VR 2. Nah, we're not ready for that. The VR ring. It can cross with other systems now in Minecraft and Rocket League. Oh, come on. Don't be <laughs> a fool. Come come on. Mark, be realistic. Yeah. Correct. Wait, hold on, hold on. Right here at the table, what's more realistic? P- PS4 goes cross-play with the other platforms, or we change our names on PSN? Change our names. Change our names. Totally. Totally. That There's been all kinds of rumors for two and a half years. About changing names? And I have yet to see it. It doesn't matter. We will get that before. We will get a Vita 3. Before, oh, God. <laughs> before you get fucking cross-play. A 3 to. Yeah. Oh, Vita 3. Um, Old. I don't know. By the time this podcast is out, we might already be dated. But... There might be something going on with... Warner Brothers, mm. specifically the DC Comics properties. Uh-oh. Good or bad? There's a rumor came by way of 4chan. Okay. Um, Most reputable of, all of websites. That's my go-to. That Rocksteady's working on a Superman game. The a few a little while ago, we I think I sent you guys the tweet. But the game director, or a game director, or whoever, out of Rocksteady, tweeted, like, I know we've been quiet for a while, but uh, when when we start Clunk talking your again, assholes. yeah, when we start talking again, you guys are gonna go fucking buck wild. That's a direct quote. Um, he, whatever it was, right? And who knows? Mm-hmm. Um, citing that, this 4chan post said. Monday's Game Informer cover will be... Monday will reveal Game Informer's next cover, and it's going to be Rocksteady's Superman game. Get ready to fuck shit up. And it... Whatever. We talked about, like... I think, specifically, it, it's... What was it? Do you remember? I, I... I I saw it. I didn't... I don't remember all the details of it. I... I if that is true, I don't, know, I don't know how I feel about that. I... I kind of just wanted them to so not do a licensed boring. thing. Superman is boring. I wanted to see a Justice League thing. I just want to do something completely, just a, not something not, no offense to DC, but something not in that universe this time around. Because they've, yeah. they've, just, they've just done Batman like four times or three times. Four. No, uh, no Origins isn't them. Sorry. Well, if you're looking for a little more, and speaking of Origins, something else happened. Uh... This comes by way of ResetEra.com. Um, so weird to say. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but... So, apparently WB Montreal is making a co-op open world DC game. There's been a lot of rumors coming out of that studio over the last few years. There was a rumor that they were working on a Suicide Squad game. There was a rumor they were working on a Damian Wayne Batman game. Now, seems they're making a co-op open world DC game. Uh, so the main three Lego points. Lego DC. No. <laughs> <laughs> the main three points here are that one, a redditor did a bunch of digging into Warner Brothers Montreal LinkedIn profiles, looking for info on their next game. Two, as of March 2017, an Unreal Engine 4 based co-op open world DC game appears in LinkedIn listings. Three, there are some postings about an Unreal 3 game that matches the description of the Damian Wayne game, but both LinkedIn postings that both 
LinkedIn postings list that with an ending date around March 2017, the same time that this new game pops up, making me think it probably got canned. So I think I think the idea what they're seeing is that people who work there are saying, "Hey, between this day and this this date and this date, I worked on an Unreal Engine 3 game with ABC mm-hmm. tenants," and that seems to line up with the rumored Damian Wayne thing. Um, but now everybody's job postings explicitly talk about Unreal Engine 4 stuff. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, we, this, the original Reddit post, y'all ready? Y'all fine. Y'all fine. Recently, the internet has been hit with a flood of so-called information regarding upcoming DC video games. We saw articles posted about Rocksteady reportedly working on Justice League, Superman, and announcements that were supposed to come, but the days came and gone and we saw nothing. In light of this heartbreak, I took it upon myself to try and find anything I could on the upcoming DC games, and I think I might have found something substantial, but it has nothing to do with Rocksteady. WB has a host of studios under its wing, including Rocksteady, TT Games, Turbine, Monolith, and the birth child, WB Montreal. WB Montreal has been extremely quiet since the release of Batgirl, a Family Matter DLC for Rocksteady's farewell to the Arkham trilogy, Batman Arkham Knight. Since then, they have not tweeted or come out to the public to say anything other than some spotty Facebook posts. Many have been wondering what they've been up to, some reporting on a Damian Wayne game, some leaks about Superman and even Suicide Squad. The reports have come and gone, and we've still got nothing from the studio other than some job postings about their two DC games. Some multiplayer things here and there. But nothing concrete. But today I think I found something concrete. I searched high and wide through multiple websites of professionals and landed on this LinkedIn profile, which he links, that shows someone who worked at WB Montreal recently. In the summary, you can see that he worked on both DC projects coming out of the studio. First game listed is an open world co-op game powered by Unreal Engine 4. You may think it's just a canceled Suicide Squad game, but the date is marked from March 17th Sorry, March 2017 to June 2017. Days worked on. So too recent to be the Suicide Squad game, and they must be something else. The other posting shows an open-world single-player game from DC Comics powered by Unreal Engine 3 and utilizes some of the same things we saw in the Arkham games. The most interesting is the line about spawning of resources and decision-making. Will the choices we make have an impact on the story? Only time will tell. With Warner Brothers out of the game, out of games on their upcoming slate, it only makes sense to see at least one of these games next year, maybe alongside Rocksteady's game as well. Give your thoughts in the comments. Do you think? What do you think it is? Batman, Robin, Suicide Squad, Justice League, does, Superman, etc., etc., etc. Does WB own Rocksteady? Is that what? It? Yes. Oh, yeah. so it only makes sense for Rocksteady to make mm-hmm. something. Okay. Yeah. Well, there goes my hopes. So I don't know, man. Which you all the Rings game? I th- I mean I can definitely see them making Superman cool to a lot of people. I think they could do a good job of representing that character. Yeah, I, I, show more a little depth to him and maybe make people have more insight with the character. Maybe. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, you didn't really have to do it up with Batman. Cause... See, ba- that's the thing. Batman's <laughs> so cool. You just have to like make him work. Yeah. Superman like is boring, and he's already overpowered. And that's what makes him boring. He does have his limitations and how, too. Like, They're just so not. Like, how do you make that a like, challenging like game? Or I don't know. I'd be okay with it. I mean, dude, you do a good Superman game. I'm in. If you do a good Lex Luthor, yeah, you can do a good Superman game. Dude, just fucking play <laughs> Superman 64. I, look, for it's all fine. we know, by this time tomorrow, we will already be like shitting ourselves over it. And, and that's the way to do. It. Like that's the way they did yeah. Arkham Knight. We woke up one more. I remember I was still in school. Ew. Uh, Arkham Knight's PS4. That, yeah. Okay. Uh, and I was wandering around the college campus. I think I, like a class had let out, and I was walking to go smoke a cigarette, as you do when you're a college boy. I was walking over, and like I pulled my phone out, checked Twitter, and everyone's like, <laughs> uh, and "That was Arkham Knight." It was that first trailer that was really like, "What the fuck?" So maybe the Scarecrow trailer. Nah, it's something to do with the Waynes. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, I I guess I need to play those games more. Like I beat Arkham Asylum. Didn't eh? I mean, I like it, but the way it ended was nah. the ending was. Mm. Oh, oh, and then I went. St- and then I went straight to Origins. 
Dude, because I, I like Origins. Rock solid, in my opinion. I yeah. actually, like, I was taking my time in that game. And I don't know where I left off, but, yeah, I was taking my good old. I wanted to do everything because I wanted to play them all, like, in order, so chronologically. Yeah. So I wanted to start with Origins, go back to Asylum, just do. I remember that. Like, yeah, like yeah. I wanted to be a completionist. Yeah. So. Yeah. I liked Origins a lot. I, I know yeah. people have problems with it. I remember when, uh, I when it came out. I didn't um, see any real problems with it. Chris, I remember, talked about some weird bugs and shit, like, uh, well, like glitchy shit and like characters disappearing. And I mean, I played it well after it came out, so it probably same. got all patched yeah. up. That's, yeah. Um, so I don't, who knows? We'll see. Speaking of weird patches and weird games, and Sonic's almost here. Yeah. Get excited, boys. Yeah. Uh, but I am. But we learned this week that uh, Sonic's review embargo is not up till the day of release, which is... It's always a great sign. Always a It's the best sign. I mean, Bethesda does it with all their games. They're usually pretty good. I think it's inevitable for us to play it, though. I'm debating, like, just... It's go, a matter I'm, of when. That's why I think, like, do I just fucking Band-Aid and just buy it Tuesday? Or, with that same money, you can yeah. buy yourself probably, like, three N-Gages. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got a hell of a point. I tell you what, I was gonna say, like, or like two engages and a couple copies of some good games like Tony Hawk, mm, Tomb Raider, mm. Call of Duty. There you go. This entire time I've been saying you guys hype for Call of Duty. I've been talking about the engage version. That's the one. It's a little Inception uh, there. Yeah. Oh, fuck you guys. Wait, a little bit of Inception. Is that what uh, you're getting? At? Fuck. <laughs> good night, everybody. Um, I'm coming back with an Engage review next yeah. week. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. Not next week. Two weeks from now. Two weeks. Yeah, I don't know. I was saying, people, like, I don't know. I was almost going to pitch the idea, like, I'll go have these with this game if you want, so that way you're not spending. I don't think either of us should spend money on it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Just, maybe, it's, maybe it's not as bad as we. Well, I'm going to wait and see. I feel like, honestly, I think a lot of reviews are really more harsh than probably what they need to be if anything it's probably just a mediocre game like it's probably playable but probably nothing outstanding mm. i feel like it might be more playable than generations that's my bet i want to look after what we just played i agree i want to look and, and and see how it runs on switch in particular just because i really yeah. wanted it on switch because like i want to review from a person that's not a sonic fan yeah because they're a lot of them are harsh yeah we'll see they're very extreme they have a right to be but yeah uh, you guys got Sonic Mania, be happy. That's sure. why I said yeah. we did get Sonic Mania. Uh, and last but not least, uh, November seventh is also the day of another thing. Uh, Xbox One X, or for short, Xbox, oh, is coming. About that. I know. Oh, what you guys, you yeah. guys pick them one up? Not right away. Uh, I don't even have to ever. play on it. <laughs> I know. Does not have to play on it? I probably just get the S. I'm gonna. So <laughs> that's. That, that's what I'm good at. Do shit. Mm-hmm. Like, even if I got another PS4 right if now, you get an I Xbox wouldn't... and not an N-Gage, you're going to be pretty pissed no, off no, no, at no, you. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm thinking about the S. And, like, yeah. Phil Spencer talked about this at E3 where, like, yeah, the X is coming, but, like, we also see a big opportunity for the S here because it's going to be lower cost. It's going to be yeah. lower interest. Honestly, point. I'd rather get a PS4 Slim than a Pro. I yeah. just, for me, I don't see the point of a pro. It's just not. It's for my situation. It's it's not. Yeah. It's not needed. I need a pro. But any PS4. Like in that scenario, I need yeah. a pro because yeah. of the optical out jack. But any PS4 uh-huh. is better than the one I have, so I'll take any. But I'm like, <laughs> do I do I get an Xbox One S? Because Black Friday they're gonna be a buck fifty. Which not bad at all. That's cheaper yeah, than 100... a 3DS. Let yeah. me just put that out. I, there. I know. <laughs> it's so fucked up. Two DS. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the price of three N gauges. No, that's more than that. You, know, you, can get, you can get like six <laughs> and a couple games at that price. <laughs> but like 150 is not bad. No, it's no. Not. It's, and and that's, that's a Black Friday price, which Halo. To be fair, Black Friday's been fucking easy. Recently. Oh, also Cyber Monday. Let's not forget. Right, Cyber Monday sucked last year. But uh, it's like you don't. You no longer have to like stab a soccer mom with your car keys in order to get anything. Like, the car keys. The car keys. But yeah, I, like you can. You can go. I could probably. I feel like a lot of them will be going after a switch. Yeah, I. So I don't know. Just like going to the radars, like you're just gonna get this. What do you guys think? We'll close on this. 
what do we do? What am, what am I doing here? Do I need an Xbox One X or One S? Do I need an Xbox One? Need no. Need never. I don't need well, one. No, but you don't fucking need it. You're but like, like you only need it in that. But sense. like, but to get it for that price, and you actually do plan on playing it for like maybe more than one game. I would play through all the Halo games because I've never played them. I mean, will you though? Will you though? Here's I a, don't know. So you start at one, right? I, de- I mean, I definitely. Yeah. How fast do you burn out? You already played your one first-person shooter, and let me tell you, you kind of already played the same theme of a first-person shooter. Mm. Really? I mean, it's Halo and Destiny both have like that floaty, weighty. Yeah. But Halo doesn't have that like MMO element attached to it. No. But, that but, makes it kind of generic. I, to be to Matt's point, like last year, I got really fucking jazzed on Metroid Prime again, and I was like, "Fuck yeah!" It was before they announced, you know, this this yeah. year, uh, and I busted up the Prime trilogy on Wii. What about Doom? And see, but Doom was like one and done. But with Doom Metroid, was different. Doom was not the first person shooter I had played before like that. Yeah, no, no, no. That was a brand new thing. But like yeah. even Metroid Prime, as different as it is, and I was in it not for the shooting, but for the mm-hmm. story. I got through Prime, and I was like, "All right, man, Prime 2. Uh, well, Prime Two is. I mean, Prime is. But I didn't even a slow paced game. But that's what I mean. Like if, if like that's Halo, not more about shooting. That's more about just exploring lore. If I'm chasing Halo for the same things I chased Metroid for, okay. am I gonna end up partway through Halo One and go? I don't really know. I need to go to two. Um, I I, have I honestly no... don't know. I feel like the story is good enough to keep you going, and so does so is the action. I think it's a good blend. But also, Halo One. Yes. I mean, remember these are like ten-hour games. You go yeah. through the first three. Just don't do legendary right away. Here, oh right God, now. no, no. Especially with Halo One. Yeah. Because the, the checkpoints aren't uh, not that good. I'm just saying, <laughs> you get it right. You get in November. We are gearing up for Game of the Year. We're already. I kind of made a short list of like what you guys might want to play that I played. Yeah. You're going to put 30 hours into Halo games. I'm not saying I'm going to dive into that in November, but I will have it. it. You're going to see it, and then you're going to stop for whatever reason. You'll never go back to it. I think – I mean, that's a possibility. But that's a game, right? Like, there's, there's, there are things in that uh, Xbox ecosystem, plus their backwards compatibility is what's really, really attractive to me. Yeah, see, I would – What games do you own? I buy them. I don't need to own I'm them, or I can just go to the goddamn fucking like Walmart a, and buy them for twelve cents because they're all clearance. Like I would get, like I would get the Master Chief Collection personally, and I would also get, I would, I would rebuy Red Dead Redemption, mm. and like any other three sixty games I enjoyed before. But anything like Xbox One wise, I'm not even sure to be honest. Other than that, maybe Killer Instinct, but I'm not even. Yeah. Like I don't know, I don't play fighting games that much. But I think for the website as a whole, it would definitely broaden things. See, now you're talking business. Because we don't have... I knew you were going to show a fucking picture. I'm <laughs> Five like, of them. Part of me is like, you know what? Five Matt's, of them. Matt's looking up a best Xbox One games list so I can figure out what games... No, motherfucker pulls Five up a them. Damn end game. And guess what? There's 10 of them yeah. available from this guy. That's so, the free cheese episode 222. If you... <laughs> if you like this episode, you can find it and all the rest of our episodes on iTunes and the Google Play Store where you can like and subscribe so you get every podcast in your ear holes once a week. Does the Engage have access to the iTunes store? Like, can I, can I get a podcast on there? Go to thefreecheese.com for all of our articles, all of our podcasts, all of our videos, all of everything. Thefreecheese.com. You can follow us on Twitter. The Free Cheese is at some free cheese. Ben is at Sev Ben's. Matt is at Maddie Ice 131 Mark is at og underscore mental and i am at the free cheese (sighs) fucking engage Uh, november we'll see next week most of us not all of us some of us some of us are gonna be playing with the engage uh but we'll see you damn straight yeah buying three right now Mm. i thank you ben Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, listener. We'll see you next time.